This isn't a visual novel stream. This is going to go on my second channel, as always, with my D&D streams. I just started moving them all over there, so yeah. Let's get into the player chat. As usual, these are a lot more chill and not as formal as my other streams, like last night. Mr. Coffee, you know, coffee maker. Mr. Coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is the brand. That is oh. the, it the legit is the brand. Mr. Well, can we get coffee. everybody into uh, roll 20, please? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, like Marty on. Yep. Excellent. I was, was born the there. <laughs> Mortified. God I haven't struck a spider till I was already a man. <laughs> Didn't see D and D Beyond till I was only experienced DM, but by then it was way out of whack compared to Roll Twenty. <laughs> oh, I even oh, have man. dice this time. Oh, um, oh no. Oh, well, they're just the weird? basic oh, no, ones okay, are like fine. Target. The, the Sorry. Um, um, oh, Google Chrome recently turned itself to dark mode, and. <laughs> Wait, they have dark mode? Yeah. yeah. I need but to change it. it. So, well, the thing, be careful, because it turns everything dark, except <laughs> things that it can't turn dark. So, it turns backgrounds dark, yes. It turns text light, yes. But sometimes it doesn't work. So, right. like, here, uh, I don't I don't know if anyone's actually watching my stream, but... Um, I am. Oh, okay. You can ben, check ben, out mine. Look at look uh, at the text. Look at the this, text on the right. You see I, that? This isn't oh. your regular, ordinary darkness. This is oh, advanced no. darkness. That's Hang terrible. On. Let's see if I can find them. No. God, I hate. I hate. I, I hate. You know, when I was a kid and I was growing up on the internet, I told myself, I'm like, I can't wait till 2020 when literally every single sentence I say is a meme. And I said that as a joke, and now it's a fucking reality. And I'm like, oh, oh. My. <laughs> that reminds me of something real quick. I gotta hold on. Oh boy. I don't know. Also, heck, Dana. <laughs> hey. Dana. Thank you for subscribing for 15 months. <laughs> and Raymond, Yay. thank you for yours for 13 as well. Oh, and that's not actually too bad. I mean, at least the letters are still eligible. No, they're not. Not really. They're not ineligible. Not on a 1440p monitor from this distance. It looks like I'm dyslexic when I'm trying to read it on your stream. Oh, yeah, now, uh, now I see like, the problem. Like, if I okay. highlight it, it's illegible. Yeah, now I see the problem. <laughs> Never mind. Like, it, uh, it, it, I, I don't have any other way to explain it, so it looks like if you didn't have your glasses on. Like, that's what it looks that's like. That's what it looks like, yeah. And I would know, I have 2080 vision. <laughs> I can't see shit. Also. Oh, 2080. That's what it's called. Alright. Nope. Oh, everybody ready? Yes. Almost. Mm -hmm. Almost. Alright. There we go. I just I'm had gonna to just uh, sit. Uh, I had to enlarge on uh, VC face real quick. We're good. Oh, okay. I'm just going to sit in ignorance and not know where dark mode is just to protect myself. I... Don't, don't worry about it right now. Yeah, yeah I'll worry I, later. I, probably for the best, you don't have it on roll 20. <laughs> good idea. I would like dark mode for when uh, like my cat wakes up my computer in the middle of the night so I don't have a giant like <gasps> oh. blazing signal lights off to the side of my bed just like, what was going on? <laughs> Flashback <laughs> signal. Thankfully, Ashley has never gotten into that habit of sitting on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, this is Tyranny of Dragons, the Cold Blood War. And uh, this is a uh, bit of a different campaign uh, of sorts, if you haven't uh, tuned in before. We use a homebrew. Uh, style of races called Animal Folk, and there's a couple of people here who are uh, of the Animal Folk persuasion. Uh, I've updated the overlay on my stream so you can see that. I also share that with everybody else, so you're free to use that whenever you whenever you stream. You're more than welcome to use that as well. But, uh, uh, did you drop that in the player chat? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll grab it when we're on a break. Yep, it looks... Uh, it made it look a little nice, so feel free to use it. Uh, so... All right. Thanks again to Adrian Von Ziegler, who's going to be the soundtrack on my channel. As well as mine. Same. I'll yep. Follow them Same on, here. Uh, Patreon and Spotify. Uh, support them and uh, love them. Show them all of your love and affection. 
Give them your money. <laughs> Are you sure? They need money. When last we left our heroes, Arthrax the spider folk rogue, Jessica the wolf, wolf folk sorceress, Eldrad the <laughs> shifter warlock bard, Zir the tabaxi monk, and Olia the hyena folk paladin. Our heroes find themselves still traveling in the caravan, following the cult of the dragon to learn where they are taking the stolen goods and to find a way to stop their nefarious plans. Along the way, they have met several interesting folks in the car caravan, as well as encountered unusual and beautiful sights, until they found themselves in an area known as the Fields of the Dead. Traversing the path left many uneasy, but that evening they found themselves fighting off a zombie horde that descended upon them. The cult losing some of their numbers in the process, and reducing the number of battle-ready individuals. We now join our heroes as they clean up after the attack and prepare for the rest of their journey through the fields. So, after the attack, uh, both the uh, paladin uh, Aldrich and the uh, ranger twins are helping to clean up the uh, various uh, zombie bodies and everything. Uh, Crick, who has uh, taken quite a bit of damage, uh, is just kind of resting and drinking uh, as uh, Fern the uh, rabbit folk female that he travels with uh, attends to his wounds. Uh, the rest of you have all uh, sustained some moderate damage, uh, some more than others. Uh, some of the other uh, guards as well have also taken some damage, also some more than others. Uh, but all in all, the uh, people that you care about are still alive. Hooray! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Very specific, the people we care about. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know, I know you don't you don't care about the uh, the other folks over there, you know. But uh, you know, they they were helping with the uh, you know with the journey. They were so excellent they shields. They were they, fodder. They do that. Uh, not all of them died. Uh, one of them survived, uh, and in fact was snuck you know snuck off in the middle of the fight to uh, hopefully save his you know save his behind, but. Whether that worked or not, you don't know. Wuss. It, it'd be that way sometimes. Saved his behind, but lost his spine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll draft will uh, kind of help carry some of the bodies. It's uh, definitely a very solemn moment, uh, as... Uh, it's it's a very harrowing experience and also very unnerving experience as well. Uh, as to the uh, the other caravan uh, passengers and uh, merchants uh, do start showing up now that uh, everything has settled down, and uh, they also assist in uh, helping to clean up. Though not everybody willing to uh, help move the bodies. Um, Arthrax would just take a moment to breathe and enjoy the quiet for a moment before signaling over to uh, Jesse to follow him to have a private conversation real quick. Yes? What's up? <laughs> After making sure they're out of earshot, he breaks his um, character voice. Okay, listen. This is gonna be very difficult because I don't know how long this outfit is really gonna hold up if we're gonna have to deal with more teeth and claws out there. I... Just, do you know any, any kind of, like, sewing or anything? Like... He just raises an eyebrow of, really? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like you make thread. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm just, that's what I was getting at. That's why, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're asking the, like, the spiders, like, can, can, you, can you knit? Um, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I can make webbing. That doesn't mean I know how to sew. I mean, web it from the inside? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just because I... Just because I'm a chick doesn't mean I know how to sew. 
wasn't the point. <laughs> I'm just warning that I'm a little squishy here compared to the rest of y'all. I know, I know, I know. Just try to be careful. Don't go barreling into danger. You should be saying that to Eldrath. <laughs> He's not the one in a fat suit. <laughs> <laughs> he raises a finger and then just lowers it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Got me there, but <laughs> I'm just warning that if there's any other dangers out there that could possibly pierce this thing, I know. have to be extra I, careful. I, well, yeah, I know. We'll just have to do that. Be careful, all right? <laughs> How are you and Samel doing? I mean, we're fine. It's... I got off lucky, like... They don't suspect a thing. That's good. Hopefully uh, we won't have any use for the emerald. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> nah, never mind. I forgot My... about that too. God damn it. I'm so mad. There's some uh, uh, hot goods. Uh... <laughs> Should have used it in the fight. No. <laughs> I'm kind of happy you didn't no. use the gem though, because Samel would have been like, hmm? <laughs> Not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> and you. <laughs> oh. As you hear in the distance, <laughs> my friend. So <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so happy you're alive. <laughs> you got a little messy, huh? Yeah. Meanwhile, Oleus just like peeks over to them, but he's still like helping out with the body. He's like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> and minds his own business. Because he'd be like that. Um, during this, during the little conversation, um, does Eldrath ever catch a glimpse and uh, see that last guard? Uh, roll perception. Ooh. Kick his ass. Damn it. Hey. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. They are at disadvantage. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you're looking around, but you can't seem to spot them at the moment. Uh, when they uh, ducked away in the middle of the fight, uh, they were very, very quick to uh, find cover. You might have to do a more uh, exhaustive search to uh, locate them. Okay. Uh, ev everybody else is welcome also to roll perception if they're looking for them. But uh, I think sure. everybody else is preoccupied. Seer was directly in that situation, so I feel like it makes sense for him to look because he'd be like, "Where the hell did that guy go?" Mm. Was to focus on the battle as well to keep Me. our horse folk and bear folk alive. Do you even think Olia would even perceive it? Like, <laughs> hey, you're helping oh. with uh, with the bodies, you know, moving them around and <laughs> enjoying <Yeah>. tears. <laughs> Olia barely realizes when a body pops up next to him. It's like, oh, another one. Another one. <laughs> yeah, throw it in the pile. <laughs> uh, that's Aldrig. Aldrig is basically of the same mind. I just put, throw it in the pile over there. <laughs> oh, got it. Well, I'm gonna get the out and they're gonna burn them. <laughs> the, uh, so Zir, as you're looking about, uh, that's gonna stink. moving through the, uh, moving through the, uh, uh, the various tents, just trying to check out the carnage to see if anybody needs any uh, medical assistance, perhaps. And you see somebody uh, over in the corner with shaking hands as they are fumbling a, a, a gem of some kind and oh. trying very, very hard to calm themselves down. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. The gem. I'm just gonna... And he's inside a tent, I'm guessing? Uh, he is, uh, behind, hiding behind one of the tents. Okay. I'm just gonna... <sighs> okay. Let's think about this for a second. Um, I'm just going to very 
casually but also socially awkwardly poke my head like poke my head around the side of the tent except it's just my two eyes and just go um you good oh as you uh look around the side and he uh jumps when you uh when you speak to him and he drops the stone and just oh duh. you scared me okay he, you're all dead now he starts scrambling for the uh, stone on the on the uh on the floor, on the uh, ground, trying to find it in the darkness. Can I see it before he can? Uh, you can roll perception. Try to try to spot it. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. Uh, you you do spot it. It's a uh, a uh, red gem. It's spherical. Uh, it, it's not clean. It's not polished, but it is roughly hewn, but there are some uh, little scripts and runes uh, etched into the sides of them. Would they uh, have it to be readable? It's on the... uh, not for you, I don't believe. Uh, let's see. No, you, do, you speak Draconic, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, roll Arcana. Oh, boy. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, you can do it. Hey, that's athletics. athletics. Oh, <laughs> I can totally read athletics. I didn't What's ask that? if you could lift the gem. I asked if you could read. It. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Arcana, I thought you said athletics. <laughs> well, that's some magic shit on there. <laughs> you just kind of notice it. You don't. It's a. Uh, to his right, uh, and he's currently looking off towards his left, kind of rotating in that direction. Can I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I try to pick it up without him noticing? Uh, you can certainly try. Uh, would that be sleight of hand? Uh, that would be sleight of hand, yes. Alright, here we go. Now, I have a question. This is kind mm -hmm. of a stretch, but I do have dark vision. And he doesn't. So would I have advantage on this because he can't see? Or he's looking the opposite direction? Okay. He he may have disadvantage on his roll to perceive, perhaps, but you don't know. Okay. Not bad. As uh, he's uh, looking off to the side and you, uh, you spot it, reach down, grab it, and pocket it real quick. All right. Um... Oh, no, no, I need to find it. I need to find it. Oh, oh she's going to oh. kill me. What what are you looking for? Uh, um, it's a uh, it's a, it's a wedding gift from my uh from my mother. Uh, I, you know she said hold on to it to keep you safe, and I you know I I held on to it it kept me safe, you know. But now I've dropped it, and I don't want to die, so I'm trying to find it. Insight check. Go ahead. <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> Cool. You don't the know death part else. is the death part is true. <laughs> Dying is true. You're you're you you recall the runes that you saw on it and the the kind of rough shape of it and everything and it's like you know if that was a gift that's a pretty shitty gift. Does it look like crap? So uh, probably yeah. not. Yeah. I'm gonna dip real. Quick. I need to restart Chrome. I'm trying to fix oh. this dark mode BS. Oh, okay. It's not working for me. Good luck. Go back. All right. Persevere. You got you this. Go on or wait for Duff. No, no, no. You guys keep going. I'm not. I'm not immediately necessary. I just flipped over to your uh, to your screen. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just like. Yeah. It's, oh my god. It's, that's it's not uh, great. <laughs> whose idea was it to do white with I, black outline? Oh my I, god. Well, so that's what I was saying before. It turns all of the, like, web page parts black, but the images it can't invert. Awful. So, like, like PNGs and stuff that have white parts or light-colored parts that are supposed to stand against the white background, mm. it can't change those. Yeah. Well, do what you gotta do. We'll, yes, we'll I'll, be, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Zier, you're... you're, you're Fairly certain this wasn't a uh, this wasn't a wedding gift at all. Well, you have time to look for it. 
uh, everything's dead now. Yeah, I, I, I'll just keep looking. I'll uh, find it eventually. I hope so too. For your wife's sake, I'll say with a smile. And I'll, uh, walk off. And I actually, um... Roll deception. To... Roll deception. Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> oh, Let's go I see this is dead! You, you let your hubris <laughs> brought this to you. Sorry. Yeah, oh, no, dear. My words will pay me dearly. Oh, not bad. Oh! Okay. Oh, holy. Good. Okay. As you, Please. as he keeps uh, searching uh, the uh, the grass and the and the uh, hedges to try to find it. All right. Um. I'm gonna go find Eldrath, my boy, my brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my home slice, bread slice, boy. Um. After his conversation with Jesse, Arthrax was just. Split up with them and head over to check over on Birch and Oak. See how they're doing. Uh, they're uh, they're patching themselves up and uh, resting, uh, having to do most of the heavy lifting and uh, just uh, recovering from the fight themselves. Well, then came back into character. He healed his left side and just go. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, tell me about it. Birch here was talking about how. Uh, how normally this is like a very easy job during the middle of the summer because like it's usually too hot for a lot of people to travel but this year it's just been like way more crowded than usual and we think that might have been what kind of drew the zombies in uh, maybe I mean they do like a crowd more chances yeah. to get some noms yeah <laughs> well they got plenty tonight unfortunately I yeah, I'm a little worried souls. about it well, yes, um, it's sad for them, but also it's kind of sad for us. We are still going through some pretty rough spots, and it's not all clear out here, so it's going to be less people to fight. Hopefully we can find some uh, people along the way who might need some work, maybe. There's always somebody know. who's willing to throw something in. I don't know. With some of the wolves that we have here, I mean, how strong some of those magic is. We might be okay, but yeah, you know, maybe an extra pair of hands would hurt. Nah, it's better to be over prepared than under prepared, especially on the trails. Very true. Birch just kind of nods his head and then kind of looks back over to his ruined tent. Uh, guess I'm sleeping under the stars. Well, if you want, Birch, you can take my tent. I don't mind. All right, that sounds good. I'm pretty tired, so I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go get some sleep right now. So he dreams then. He climbs up, climbs up uh, off of the uh, log that he was sitting on and wanders over to your uh, to your tent and uh, crawls in. Good bear yawn, Dana. Good bear yawn. <laughs> <laughs> And he'll just take the spot on the log right next to Oak and just sigh. Uh, I'm actually prefer sleeping under the stars anyway. Makes me feel younger. Yeah, uh, you know I like I like my time on the uh, trail, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like it's a little bit more trouble than it's worth. But yeah, pays good. Got any family back home? Nah, nah, just me. Just kind of make my way through. Uh, my dad passed a couple seasons back. I never had any brothers or sisters. Never really settled down. Probably got a bastard or two out there, if you ask me. But <laughs> I don't. I don't really keep track of them. Uh, I got a few myself, but that's a story for another night. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm beat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in now that uh, all the excitement is uh, tied down. Sweet dreams, though. Thank you much. As he uh, picks himself up and makes his way to his tent. And after 
they're gone, he makes sure no one else is looking in his direction as he tries to shuffle the, his arms under the fat suit so they're not, like, asleep or anything. Just trying to get a little uh, little wiggle in just to kind of make sure the blood's still flowing. Yep. <laughs> That's it for me. All right. So, uh, uh, can I make my way over to Eldrath? <clears throat> this thing checked out. Hmm. Are you gonna, are you trying to do this surreptitiously? Uh, I mean, like, I'm clearly walking over. I would say, like, the, the thing is definitely in my pocket. I'd basically be walking over to him, but, like, not in a hurry, just casual mm -hmm. walk. Okay. So as you see, uh, as you're approaching you, Eldrath, as uh, in his normal awkward shuffle, mm -hmm. his truffle shuffle, if you will, mm -hmm. um, he um, that last guard, I found him, and he uh, dropped something that we might want to look at. Oh. And where, where exactly did you find him? Uh, he's behind that tent over yonder. Hmm. Let's he's, see what he's, he's still looking for it. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm not... Would it be fair to say that there's, like, cloth along with my explorer's pack? Or, like, I'd imagine you have, pack. like, maybe, uh, maybe spare set of, you know, do you have... I have traveler's clothes. Oh well, you have your, your you have your traveler's clothes. You're wearing your your disguise at the moment, so you have your traveler's clothes. Okay, I'm just gonna take like the hood of my traveler's clothes that she usually wears and wrap the orb around it. Or well, that doesn't make any sense. Wrap, <laughs> wrap the hood around the orb, and I'm going to give it to Eldrath and say, um, "Look at it when you can privately. I couldn't figure out what it is, but." I don't think this is a normal thing we can just open up out and outside. Mm -hmm. Also, just be careful touching it because it didn't do anything to me, but I have no idea what it'll do to someone who's, well, a dragon. Well, thank you for the warning. I, will... I guess let's find a, uh, a spot that isn't inside of the that you just mentioned. Yeah, we can go to, um... Do you... We can go to your tent. You shrugs. Sure. Sure. Sleep over at Eldrath's house. Woo! Mom, can I go over to Eldrath's house? He has a, he has a Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> um, got games? He has, a T, he has a team at Switch. Please, I want to play the new... I want to play the new Dragon Crossing. <laughs> Crossing. The um, this gem, is it kind of large or is it just like a tiny gem? Or... Uh, it fits in the palm of your hand. Okay. Like you could close your hand around it. Uh, it might show through your fingers a little bit, but that it's it's baseball not size. a little bit smaller than a baseball. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when we get to my tent, I will take a quick look at it. Keep it. Keep my hand in between. Me. Uh, it, or the cloth in between my hands and the core. Alright. Uh, go ahead and roll Arcana. See if you know what this is. Okay. Uh, Alright. You have, uh, in fact, heard of these. Uh, you may have seen one or two in your travels. Uh, they're usually fairly expensive, but, uh, they are a valuable tool for people who are uh, uh, operating across the uh, across the uh, uh, Faerun wilds. Uh, this is a sending stone. It is a uh, enhan uh, a magically augmented stone that has a connection with a another one that's exactly like it, and can usually be used to communicate uh, back and forth with the other. Uh, usually only once per day, unless they are uh, of a higher level. <laughs> As for this one, not really sure what level it is, 
you would need the identify spell for that, but you know what it is at least. Hmm. Oh, this is a uh, very, very good find. What is it? It's a seeing stone. It. It's a uh, two-way communication <gasps> device. If that makes sense. Do you, if you were to touch it, would it work? Mm. Would Eldreth know how those technically work? You would not? No. I can't say for sure. Um, best to keep it wrapped up. Agreed. Now, um, do you want to hold on to it? Yeah, I can keep it in my pouch. Okay. I'll put it in a different, uh, cloth, though, so you can have your hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll exchange fabrics and get that orb locked up. Get that SCP contained. <laughs> um... I don't know if I really have anything. That parchment. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, I have this bag of sand. I'm just gonna dump out the sand and put the orb in that little pouch okay. bag. Sure. And put that into my main bag. Works okay. for me. Um, hop out of the tent and uh, kind of make my way towards the uh, uh, last remaining guard. Not straight on, but just kind of wandering and end up at that place. Is that just approaching him wide? Mm hmm. All right. Well, you can see him from a couple of feet away once as you approach uh, around him. Uh, mm -hmm. He is still on the ground, uh, frantically searching through the grass, uh, systematically at this point, mm -hmm. so, trying to find something that he uh, appears to have dropped as he mutters to himself, Where is it? Where is it? I need it. I need it. She's going to kill me if I don't get it. Hmm. Are you quite yeah. all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I lost a, uh, a wedding present gift that was given to me by my uh, mother-in-law. And uh, they, they, they was going to be mad if I don't find it, so I'm just trying to, trying to pick it up. Hey. Oh dear, that is, that's very very sad. Did it get lost in the fight? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh it was supposed to be lucky. It keeps me, uh, you know, kept me alive during the fight, and then, uh, you know, I got a little nervous and dropped it, and uh, that's. I'm just trying to find it. it I gotta get back to finding it, sorry, as he goes back to flipping through the grass and trying to find what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, let me, let me assist you. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? Uh, uh, well, it's a, uh, it's a little trinket. Uh, it's made of a, it's a red gem. It's got some, uh, inspirational writing on it. <laughs> oh, inspirational. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't read it, though. I don't know what it says, but I was told it was inspirational. Mm. You know, as Eldreth kind of starts feigning, looking around, whatever, um, yeah, the one thing with luck charms is uh, once it's used, it's kind of worth worthless at that point. And it seems like it worked for you this time, and you may just need to let it go. I hmm. try to persuade him there. Go ahead and roll persuasion. Uh, no, this this is really important, and I can't just leave it here you know if it takes me all night i'm gonna keep searching but thank you for the advice okay um for the next like five minutes he'll 
continue to help. And then, um, he, like, kind of get up and stretch and be like, ah, you know, obviously, yes, it would be better to find this way, but you know what I think we really need right now? Because I saw what happened to the rest of your uh, group, and that is... That's very uh, sombering to me. <laughs> would you want a drink? He uh, looks back at you, uh, kind of curious now, as it's very late at night. Uh, I, I really should find this, uh, find this trick. Back to it. Well, I, you know, I don't know if I'll know exactly where it's, where it is, you know, this spot, you know. With it being so dark, I don't know if we would find the thing. It is tiny, yes? Uh, go ahead and roll Persuasion with disadvantage. Mm. Also, I'm back. I, uh, I gave up on Chrome and I've switched to Opera GX. <laughs> nice. Oh, no! Oh, no. So close to that 20. No! He, uh, he looks at you and, uh, seems to consider it for, for only a second before shaking his head and going, No, it's really important. I should, I should keep at it. Well, you keep at it. I'll go get you that drink anyways. I'll return shortly, okay? It's the, uh, he just kind of waves his hand at you uh, dismissively as he keeps searching. Okay. Um, <laughs> Eldrath will walk over to uh, the wagon with um, Baird? Baird. 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 Yeah. Baird's cart. Uh, well, he has been in his, uh, cart with, uh, uh, with a, uh, with a short sword in one hand and drinking a glass of wine to steady his nerves. Track. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, yes, um, hello. Bit I a... need your strongest drink, please. You know, you you and I have the same idea. <laughs> yes. Reaches over and uh, pours out a a glass of dwarven ale for you. Uh, I'll buy the whole bottle, actually. You, you know, with you, you fought quite well. Um, you can have it. You just oh. take it. You you you, you know, you protected. Uh, you know, my uh, my my driver. Thank you. He'll receive the bottle and give him a little wink as he turns right around, starts getting back to the guy. As Babe goes right back to his drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Babe. <laughs> uh, yeah. If anyone wants to do anything else, real quick, go for it. Please. Um. I don't think anyone else would do anything. I had something. Arthrax is pretty much resting right now. <laughs> Same with Olia. Okie dokie. Um, Everybody else does seem to be uh, winding down now that the uh, bodies have been cleared out. Yeah. Okay. Um, Eldrath makes his way back to the cultist. <laughs> I mean, the guard. Cultist guard. I know what he <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. What's happening to the, the Sea of Swords? ocean is moving. <laughs> yeah, oh, I noticed God. that too. Just out of the that back of my eye. <laughs> I'm watching you, Sea of Swords. For some reason, it's on the token layer and not the map layer. I don't know why that was. But there ah. we go. I was going to move my, my screen and, you know, didn't, didn't go for that. Oh, well. These things, they happen. They do. They do be like that. Ignore me! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's still uh, he's still looking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> make my uh, presence known as I walk up here. Hello. Oh, um, uh, 
you know what? That's not a bad idea. Thanks. Hey, I... I know that uh, suffering losses like that can be really hard. And distracting yourself can be. Um, do you want to talk about, like, your gem or your lost friends? Kind of eyes you curiously and... No? Not really. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather find it. And they weren't really friends. I mean, we just kind of worked together. Oh. What kind of work? Just guards? Caravan guards. Hmm. Well, it seems like you'll be getting their share. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess. I don't think it works that way, but... I'll definitely be getting their share of, uh, of punishment. Oof. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Um. Okay. <laughs> just no words. Just no, oh. this, I have You're a thought dead. that it's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Um, no, time for one of Emerald Draft's signature famous, bad ideas. You, yes, famous ideas. Uh, my these ideas. mentor once told me, and then he switches to Draconic. And Tiamat is always away. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Old <laughs> deception with advantage, because you are speaking in Draconic. Mm hmm. Draconic is scary. Okay. As he uh, kind of flicks his eyes around and he drops down and, and he starts whispering in Draconic. Did you, did you hide too? It continues in Draconic but in hushed tones. Uh, no. I, I was sent here for uh, another purpose. There is... Um, there is people who are tracking you right now. I have been keeping an eye on them. I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. It seemed like such an easy job, and then this all happened, and I thought that this was going to be an easy assignment, and I didn't think this... Oh, Resmir is going to kill me. You, you put in a good word, right? You put in a good word, right? I did the best I could. You just slowly kind of give him the bottle. <laughs> oh. So I gotta find the sending stone. I gotta tell her what's happened. Mm. I gotta tell her what I, you know, what I know before before you know she finds out, and then she starts blaming me for things. Is she waiting for a? Right. Hmm. That well, doesn't seem right to me. Oh well, no no no! We don't like check in all the time or anything, but you know we do have one just in case. You know just. Things go wrong sometimes, like this. You know, I didn't expect that we'd be running into zombies. I mean, it is called the fields of the dead. Okay, you know, in hindsight, it makes sense now, but, you know, at the time, I wasn't really thinking about it. Yeah. Hmm. But, but look, I, I, that's why I gotta find this and tell her what's going on. It's the only chance I have of not getting myself killed. Well, again, I will help you look for it. Um, I would think that the search, if if possible, leads just a little bit away from the camp itself, the main part of the camp. I wouldn't know what he would want to do, but well, he he knows that he fumbled it behind uh behind this tent. Mm -hmm. As far as how travel, how far it would have traveled away from that area, you know, that's he's not certain, but mm -hmm. he's he's doing it systematically. Mm -hmm. Um, is there a tree line anywhere near? Uh, no, you are in open no. fields at the moment. Open fields. Yep, all directions. Yep, there's a all couple right. of uh, smaller bushes, perhaps, and a couple of hedges, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I'm just gonna cast. Uh, actually, what, one quick question: Has it been about thirty minutes or so? Uh, and would I be able to get, get back? Short well, rest? No. <laughs> short rest? No. <laughs> no, you have been actively working. Okay, gotcha. Just checking. Um, but yeah, Eldrath will cast Minor Illusion uh, over near, just slightly beyond one of the bushes, and he's going to create a practically perfect copy of that Sending Stone. Okay. Um, after a moment. Oh, is that it over there? What? As he uh, scrambles over uh, to where you're pointing. I'll follow him behind. Oh, I think that's it. As he goes down to reach for it. And as he goes to grab it, uh, his hand closes around the thing. Wait. Wait a minute. Tiamat sends her regards. And two ultra fast to the back of his head from I'm... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right uh... <laughs> well this is a little bit more evil than the um steel well actually no this makes more sense go for it you know, I mean <laughs> remember we don't know Eldrath's alignment no we don't and I have a guess and I'm yep <laughs> roll your attack with advantage because he doesn't see this coming <laughs> two, right. two attacks, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. Three twenty. Yeah. Yep. Oh, 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 oh my god. god! That's the first, and that's oh. sixteen total. Just <laughs> as, uh, oh, the first man. one goes through the bat, through his. Uh, the, it graces the top of his head, but it takes off a chunk with it. Oh. As he kind of staggers forward and stumbles and turns around as he looks at you, confused. <laughs> what? Just as the second... his head. <laughs> Just tilting my head. As the second one goes right through his chest and Ooh. kills him instantly as it bursts open in blood and <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Take a quick look around and see if anyone noticed. Um... Give love a bad name, Eldrath. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, well, let's see here. You did break them away. So I'm gonna say anybody who is still up, which I don't think is many people. No, not me. To get a check with disadvantage. I'm still technically awake. I. But, hmm. Here's. Okay, here's a question just out of pure curiosity. How much noise does Eldritch Blast make? Uh, this is not, this is, not I'm not quiet. asking this. Yeah, I'm not asking this to, um, to, to, like, influence the outcome. I'm asking just out of sheer curiosity. It's not quiet, that's for certain. <laughs> okay. Also, isn't it a beam of light, too, it technically? Is. Yeah, so it's like we're in pitch black darkness and then zoom. <laughs> Crackling energy is what the description says. So it, it does... I'm guessing it makes, like, a popping sound. Damn, like there's a storm coming. <laughs> yeah, like it's, a lightning it's, strike. Yeah, yeah, it's the sound of, uh, basically, uh, a miniature explosion, just, you know, a force wave, essentially. Mm. So there is a little bit of a... You know. But the, uh, the light is what would normally give it away. You have done it behind a, uh, a bush, so this is... Uh, hidden. So you have uh, you have murked this guy. What are you gonna do now? Um, all right. <laughs> you don't um, know if you've been spotted or not. You don't know. You don't see anybody at the moment, but I'm you know that to... that wasn't exactly quiet. <laughs> um, in two actions, I will do. Yeah, I will dig a ten foot uh, hole. Have him plop him in there, and then two more actions to cover that hole. The dirt used to remove. Okay. So as you are, uh, as you are just closing up the uh, the hole, uh, go ahead and roll me a sleight of hand here. We'll turn. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh. my god. Okay. All right. So as you uh, manage to uh, cover him up, just as uh, Farilla and Harilla uh, both come around the corner with bows drawn, so that they look around and they say, "Did you see another one?" Uh, it was a fast-moving creature. I could not see it exactly. I scared it off. Uh, roll deception. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> My own no oh punishment. My <laughs> oh, never punish. Oh my never, god. Never punish. Never they, punish. Uh, they can get a good insight though. Hold on. Oh, they uh, they do uh, uh, they have their they have arrows knocked in their short bows, but before they uh, let them go slack and just kind of pat you on the shoulders, like good looking out, and they uh, head back to the camp. I'm gonna pick up that bottle. Take a good few swigs and walk back to my tent. Seer's <laughs> so just waiting there, like meditating. <laughs> oh, hey, Seer. Drink? Um, what did you. Can I. Did I hear anything? Because I was technically still awake. Or you, heard, too... uh, you heard the sounds of his Eldritch Blast and saw the flashes, perhaps, but. As far as, far as what he was doing, you're not certain. Where did you, um. Do you hate frogs or something? Oh, absolutely. Is that guy still looking for his stone? No, he found it. Gwent. And, and, I mean, and he, he does pull out the pouch that was holding the gem and puts it back. You know, if you wanted to do things quietly, you could have just had me snap his neck. It was, it was a moment. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> well, alignment guys having a good time talking about murdering people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apologies, guys. I had to I had to mute real quick because uh, I got raided by like a big group. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. demon. Yeah. They, did they listen to me? Just absolutely off a guy. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> just missed that. They oh. just. The, you guys, everyone who just came in off that raid, y'all just missed one of our party members' signature bad ideas that he gets away with every fucking time. It's insane. Well, I don't think he got away with the gold thing. That he did not get away with that. <laughs> oh no, yeah, the one. Time. Okay, not every time. He so kept much. his. He he didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he got away with it. Okay, so we'll just we'll just condense it to uh, signature bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Eldraft the wild card. Eldraft. You now have in your possession a sending stone. Uh, that was previously in the possession of one of the cultists. Yay. I'll write down sending stone. Simple oh. hello. <laughs> I'll hello, it. simple. Just grabs it. Is this thing working? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so, as the uh, rest of the evening is uh, uneventful and quiet, uh, still, after the, uh, the combat that had occurred. As the sun rises on the seventh day, uh, everybody in the caravan is still admittedly a little nervous uh, after the events that have occurred the night before, uh, and decide that it's a good idea to go ahead and rest for the day, let the, uh, let the animals uh, recover from the uh, travel, as well as let everybody else uh, rest and recover from the uh, from the attack itself. Uh, many of the uh, guards are happy for this uh, for this to happen uh, because they are a little still a little bit sore and tired from the night before. So you have the whole day to just rest, not quite easily in the fields of the dead, but rest nonetheless. Yay! <laughs> you know I'm rusted. 
Hooray! Break! <laughs> Yay! If there's anything you want to do before we move on to the next day. Well, there's just something a side I do want to do, but I don't think we have enough coverage for it. Uh. <laughs> what? Fix the fat suit. Ah. Uh, you're under the impression that the fat suit was damaged. No, 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 no. I want to, like, take a break from it for a little bit. Oh. No. I want to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> well. Get the beard off for a bit so the itchiness will stop. He, he got seven days of spider sweat in that suit. <laughs> Spider's not happy. <laughs> huh? Nobody spider has... sweat? That's a good question there. I don't think so. Uh, technically, they don't even have a circulatory system, so... True. <laughs> anyway, uh... If there's if nobody has anything they want to do, we'll just go ahead and move into the uh, the next day here. All right. Sure so, we'll long rest mm -hmm. for the win. Yeah, y'all get long rest. So, <laughs> extra long rest. God, thank you. Level up rest. Let's go. <laughs> when you go day to day, you're gonna get a long rest. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not that mean that I would push you past uh, the ability to long rest. That'd be rude. <laughs> How woo? I need How my beauty woo? sleep. Oh God. <laughs> I did roll, though, to see if I should, like, possibly wake up during that Eldritch Brass, and I thought, okay, a 95 or higher on a D100 would wake me up. As Olia <laughs> normally does, he rolled a 2. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Olia is... So, I mean, how many times did it take him to wake up from snoring so loud? It was, like, three times. Yeah. yeah I think it would be four up. the time I woke um, up. Yeah. Fun yeah. fact, if you, ever, if you ever want to do a 5% uh, a chance like that uh you can just roll a d20 and it has to be a, a nat 20 in order to pass ah shoot i there just wanted to pull out my d100 just because i no, have that's it. fair no that's that's totally fair <laughs> <laughs> if you just need an excuse to use the d100 fucking go for it <laughs> <laughs> exactly I, I got my dice i want to use them <laughs> i know right that's the hardest part about roll 20 is because we're all rolling digital dice like we can't play with our nice dice sets they're so fun. I only have one, but... Uh, which, where did I put mine? My dice are behind my computer. Ah, well, I knew mine was on the desk. The, uh, after uh, taking a day off to rest, uh, which the livestock uh, greatly appreciates, you uh, find yourself uh, at the dawn of the next day, in the, still in the fields of the deads, but closer to the exit, as uh, many of the uh, caravan... Uh, Passengers are happy to inform you that your time in the horrible place is coming to an end. Right. And as you are moving forward, you can see a small change uh, that they inform you is called the Troll Claws. It's not oh. fairly large. It's it's not very large or anything. It's just a minor, uh, minor mountain range. Fairly easy. Uh, the weather does get a little more intense as you go higher. The temperatures do drop a few degrees. Uh, the winds do pick up in ferocity as well. Uh, but And the path is pretty rough, but it does go by quickly enough. And uh, you are rewarded with the lovely sunset that overlooks the Sword Coast, rippling off the Sea of Swords in the distance. Ooh. Pretty. As the day goes <laughs> uneventfully. So... On the next day, it's more travel through the uh, mountain pass. Uh, it's a little bit more, you know, sparsely uh, marked with uh, uh, trees and bushes. It's less, uh, more rocks and boulders and such. Uh, it does get a little bit warm during the middle of the day, uh, and you all decide that it's a good time to just kind of pull over and take a break and just kind of relax a little bit. And uh, you all uh, decide to take time to uh, stop and grab a little something to eat, you know, just a little snack. Uh, roll a die here real quick. A little snacky snack. All right. <clears throat> Olia, Ye. as you uh, are pull out a little bag filled with uh, some nuts, and uh, you go and take a piece out, and you're ready to go chew one. You kind of flick it up in the air and uh, hold your head back. But it doesn't land as a crow just swipes down and just grabs it midair and just flies right off with it. What the? 
<laughs> you look around, you can't find your... Where, where, where'd your nut go? Ugh, my nuts, damn it. I'll get you someday. <laughs> Cutler will get you. Go ahead and roll uh, Perception. See if you can spot the crow. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay. You're looking yeah, around. Uh, you don't... You don't see it. You, you know, you can hear the calling in the distance, and you're like, all right, fair yeah. play. And you go and grab another uh, another nut. But this time, he looks to the left, to the right. Then he flicks it. All right, let me get a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh no. Just as you're about to flick it, another crow comes down and grabs the nut and flies off with it. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Arthrax couldn't help but chuckle before patting on his back to go, maybe he should stop trying to flick it and just eat it. But I know I can do this. Believe in myself. <laughs> Third time's the charm, as they say. Hardest right. That our team has ever faced. One more time, and he goes. One Before you do, let me. Let's put a bet on it. If if another crow grabs it, you give me ten gold. <laughs> and if I get it, ten gold. Yeah, sure. Yeah, money's only temporary. So another dexterity saving throw. As you uh, go to grab it, yeah, go ahead. Oh no. Oh, oh god! No, 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 no. Oh, no. So, uh, you look to the left, you look to the right, you look above you. No birds. You go to flick it up in the air, and suddenly a crow comes down and grabs the, uh, the bag of food out of your other hand and flies away with it. <laughs> what the? Oh, no. The whole bag? No. My nuts! Oh, God, I'm gonna starve. Oh, that cabbages. still counts. <laughs> oh, no. C could My I get cabbages. anything off of you for 10 gold? Food-wise. Sorry? Technically, could I get anything off of you for 10 gold? You did catch the nut. Uh, you just, you lost the other ones, but you did catch the, <laughs> the first nut. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I could sustain myself off of one nut? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you still won the bet, though. He chuckles and gives Olia some of his snacks. I'll just owe you the ten. Don't worry about it. Uh, Arthrax, oh, make a dexterity thanks. saving throw. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my God. goodness! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching me leaning on my staff, just like this is the most interesting thing I've ever seen. Uh, you said dexterity? Yep, dexterity saving throw. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, you you hold out the bag to uh, Olia. And you can hear the fluttering coming from the right, and you just pull your hand back real quick as a crow just comes flying in and smacks against the ground as it misses the bag completely. <laughs> Quickly stomp on the bird. Uh, roll the hit. Oh my god. Uh, um, roll strength plus your proficiency in an unarmed, unarmed strike. Wow. Unarmed arm strike. Yep. Uh, that is enough to hit. Go ahead and, uh, what is your strength? Uh, four. modifier. It's four, proficiency four. three, so seven. Nope, you don't get proficiency on this. You're not oh, a monk. Okay, sorry. Sorry, four. <laughs> not for damage. Uh, sorry, you, don't, you don't have the, uh, you don't have the ability to roll, uh, the dies for this, but you do get, uh, about, I believe it's half plus one, so three damage. Uh, which is more than enough to, uh, squish the crow, uh, down into the dirt. You don't think I'm cool. But as you, <laughs> as you kill the crow, Arthrax is under arrest for a murder of crow. <laughs> Dude. He, he gives the bag to Olia and then bends over and gets down to pick up the body that he just crushed and goes, this is my meal now. Oh. Uh, what on Gaia what are you doing? Yeah, I had he, he just committed the crime of a murder of crow. This is about to go round. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, no. Arthrax, you, uh, as you're picking up the, uh, the squished crow, there's a lot of fluttering. Oh no. Oh, no. In the air above you. <laughs> oh my god. No. 
as uh, circling around you are a bunch of crows. Uh, one of them has a bag in its uh, in its claws. <laughs> <laughs> are those my nuts? <laughs> can, can I try and get them? So you're just gonna do the classic like squint, like uh, uh, hand over eyes, like look so. Yeah, I think that is your nuts. <gasps> oh my god, my nuts! As I quickly put the the gold and uh, the snacks that I got from Arthur X in my pocket, quickly, quickly looks to be like nobody's gonna take these snacks. And do I go for a dexterity save on this to get it from the crow, or what? I need everybody to roll dexterity saving throws now. Oh no! Oh. I would like to. Equip, I would like to equip, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I put snacks away. I equipped my javelin. Oh, whoops. Well, uh, I mean... My warhammer mate. My oh my god! god. <laughs> All right, oh well, my god! If I survive. Oh! oh, no. oh. oh. The okay. highest natural deck save, and he got a oh. nat one. Still got higher than Olia, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, how hard is that? As all of you are just, you know, realizing oh. that a murder is about to happen as the crows just fly down at you all of a sudden. And uh, they all just start scratching and pecking at you. Olia, you lose the bag of nuts that you got from uh, Arthorax. Oh, uh, Arthorax, you take three points of piercing damage as they peck at your, uh, at your head and your hand, uh, trying to get you to let go of their friend, not realizing. And let's see... Eldrath, you take two piercing. <laughs> Zir, you take two piercing. Jesse saves, Woo! ducking out behind a uh, behind a rock before all hell breaks loose. Hell seeing yeah. the writing on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <sighs> As they all, all right. uh, they all fly away after uh, drilling on you and attacking you and pecking you for a little bit. Now with two bags of food. <laughs> Eldrath As, uh, will try to get off at least one shot of Eldrin blasts. Go right. Go ahead. Oh my. So can I throw a dart at the one that has the nuts? You can try. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a dart at the one that has the nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna try to back up Olya here. They attack. Me. Oh, oh come, come on. on! Okay. Okay. L listen. I have a dart at the nuts. Oh my god, <laughs> the plus eight! <laughs> oh. Well, as He's you uh, line up, uh, I need that at disadvantage because they're out of your range. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's do it again. I mean, it can't get much lower. Yeah, uh, I don't think 15, it. 15, so. 15. so as you kind of line it up and you just, you know it's out of range, you kind of compensate for that and you just kind of take a step back and then just, just wing it as hard as you can. As, uh, the crow suddenly lets out a shriek and falls to the ground. Uh, Eldrath, uh, you uh, also hit with your Eldritch Blast. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure you killed it, but we're going to find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Disintegrated, reduced to atoms. Yeah. <laughs> no such Oof, ruined that bird's whole career. You know that, uh, you know the, uh, the video where uh, the the pitcher throws the ball and a bird flies in. <gasps> yes! The, the Ryan Johnson oh, thing. Oh my god. A little, no. Yeah, a little bit of that as you uh, let out your Eldritch Blast, you know, kind of eyeing it up, squeezing, squinting your eye and just taking your <laughs> shot and it just boom, fly, explodes in a cloud of feathers as the uh, bag falls with it and uh, the other crows just spooked and go flying off. Oh shit! <laughs> Bang me, get out of here! In the distance, you can hear uh, Crick just laughing his ass off drunkenly. <laughs> Crick is the, uh, is the wolf folk, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He's, I gotta talk to him later. I'm gonna go and grab the, the nuts. <laughs> just be like, get that nut. Arthur yeah, will join Zier to grab the other bird that got knocked down. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow over. Like, oh, yeah, we got the nuts! Sweet, can I have them back? Only if you don't throw them in the air again. Man, this episode's mm. not... <laughs> How long have you been sitting on that? <laughs> Just now. <sighs> well, Congratulations. You survived the murder. 
Congratulations, yeah. you defeated crows. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is just oh how God, karma just works. Froze them. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if if they were gonna stick around for more than a, like a turn's worth, I was gonna break out a midair fireball. I was just gonna say fireball the murder. <laughs> just high enough to be out of range of everyone standing around. <laughs> you would have cooked them. It is the most overkill I've ever heard. <laughs> takes <laughs> an entire <laughs> flock of crows. Takes takes two One damage. One fireball. Just then, gone. Then perish. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some roasted nuts. And roasted bird. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's actually a good time to take a uh, take our first break here at yeah. the conclusion of the ninth yeah. day. Okay. Yay! Yay. Oh, we're only at the nine. We're almost halfway. I, I guess this is just how karma works for Olia. You know, it is kind of funny that we had a murder of crows attack us, and this Friday was Friday the thirteenth. It just makes sense to me. Gotta work out that way. <laughs> yeah. Right. It all works. I will. I'm gonna be stepping away. I will be right back. Yep. Yeah, we're See gonna take a quick break. I am going to stay here and talk to chat and to myself and anyone else who's around because I have nowhere to go. Uh, than... Neither do I, Zier, so you and I are in the same boat right now. Excellent. So, <laughs> crow food, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> or, no, what's the line? Oh, crow food, what's the deal with that? Oh, God. Airplane food, what's the deal with airplane food? I hate that joke so bad. <laughs> You gotta do a uh, Seinfeld impression. See, what's the deal? What see, the I was just thinking of, I was just thinking of this way. I'm just giving Dirt my snacks because he lost his for trying to be all fancy with his flippers, and then I just get the bird because there, there's food for Arthrax. He doesn't care, and I don't get anything other than two damage. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, was just standing there, just watching. I mean, to be fair, birds and cats have never really gotten along very well. I mean, in, in my defense, the bird was annoying. Screw that bird. In my defense, you're a six-foot-tall spider with muscle arms the size of a crow's entire body, and you curve-stomped a poor, helpless crow <laughs> face-planted into the ground. And? It worked. Uh, it... No shit, it worked. Six-foot <laughs> 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 spider! <laughs> I was gonna say something back to you about, like, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, in very Olia fashion of just, that's very not nice of you. That was very not cash money of you. Oh, that wasn't very cash you money of you. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? Also, when, um... Dad, please, come save me. Just just save me, please, Jack. When we were When we were rolling perception checks with Olia, all I can think of is, like, if he rolled like really really low it's just you stare out looking around and then everything suddenly goes black and then everything comes back you don't oh. realize that you just blinked whoa <laughs> you just miss whatever is happening because you just accidentally blink but you didn't realize it was a blink <laughs> yeah. like, what just happened you blink and you miss it yeah yep it all happens in a blink of an eye I mean, that's... yeah. That's fair. Of all the people I was hoping that to happen to, I was so happy it happened to Olia. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled it randomly, yes. and I was just like, please let it be good, and it was just... it came up on Olia, and I was just like, yes! <laughs> I feel like any of us could have played that really, really well, except... well, actually, no, because if you wanted Olia, because he has his bad deck sipping pose, yeah. so he wouldn't be able to catch him, whereas Arthrax or I would have just been like, snatch, think... easy clap. It would have been either. It would have been best with uh, either Olia or Jessica. Uh, maybe Eldraft, but I felt like Eldraft would probably find a way to, you know, get around it. But <laughs> he would persuade him. the crow to give it yeah. back. Now nah, he would murder the crow instantly. Not even asked. <laughs> Jessica just fireballs the crow. Not even like the murder, just the singular crow. <laughs> oh God. But honestly, I knew the perception was gonna screw me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you, I, there was a no, you know, it wasn't a high DC, but it was gonna be difficult for you. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this will be funny. <laughs> My pain is everybody's humor. Out, 
It was hilarious. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> and then I was waiting for somebody to do something silly, and sure enough, Arthrax. Arthrax <laughs> as always steps up to the plate. <laughs> Got that shit on lock. <laughs> You're welcome. Maybe. Oh, I forgot to get my 10 gold. You owe me yeah, 10 gold. I, I already subtract 10 from myself, so you can just add 10 to yours. Uh, yeah, I just forgot to do that. There we go. Nice. I'm just, rich. It just reminded me of a video of this guy who, like, like he was just playing CSGO and he spilled his nuts everywhere. <laughs> and he starts screaming my nuts. And I started thinking about that. And then he later, like, the same the same uh, highlight reel, he was, like, doing some sort of, like, uh, like uh, a skip. And he just starts, he was, like, doing it all the same way. He just starts screaming. He goes, the nuts again. The nuts. <laughs> freaking the fuck out. That's all I can think of. Just the nuts. Uh, As usual. I'm trying to put together the uh, setup that Dana gave us. Hmm. The overlay, I should say. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I just, I just wanted to spend a few minutes greeting my chat properly since we had that raid come in. Oh, how Hello. kind. Well, I, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh the murder that occurred there the multiple kinds yeah that was the murder of murder of crows i was saying like there was only there were really only two people that i really wanted that to happen to <laughs> and i rolled the d6 <laughs> to see who would get it and mm -hmm. uh it was olia and i was just like yes that's one of the two <laughs> <laughs> who's the other one who's yeah. the other oh, you just... wanted it to happen to you me? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, it low dexterity, so. Low oh, dexterity. You're right. I knew it was going to be has funny. Fireball. I, the, in that case, I lucked the fuck out when the when the when the 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 murder started attacking everybody. Wait, if you d six like it, coming and we're just like, nope. Wait, if you d six it though, who was the person that had two chances? No, the uh, six would have been roll again. Oh, <laughs> we would have gone until somebody, uh, somebody was the lucky recipient. I, think I was assuming it would just be me twice. <laughs> it's, it's, like, doubled here. it's gonna be in, me. In all things fairness. Also, uh, Northern T Games says, I want to GM Pathfinder 2E so bad, but I do not have players and I only have a week of learning. Uh, Northern, I would definitely suggest and and dana can either back me up or correct me on this um i would definitely suggest getting at least not necessarily practice but like experience from other dms under your belt before you try and do your own game um if you have any question dming um i personally cannot recommend dana enough he is a phenomenal dm um I will leave it up to him whether he's open to people reaching out to him for questions. I am always here to answer. I don't always have the correct answer, but <laughs> I'm willing to bullshit it enough. So, I mean, he, he, he his bullshit stat is high enough that he makes it sound like it makes sense, right? <laughs> Sometimes I get away with it. Sometimes. Also, I'm pretty sure have any, anybody else in here DM before? I haven't. I keep thinking about it, but then I'm like, mm, there's probably too much variance into it, so I'll just hold it off for now. So I've, family. I've had thoughts of DMing like a, a cyberpunk style game. Not not actually cyberpunk, but like a sci-fi dystopian aesthetic type game. But I feel like trying to modify any of the systems that I'm familiar with in order to make them work for a setting like that would be a lot of work. There is like a cyberpunk thing already made. If you've yeah, seen it's called it Cyberpunk 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm that. aware. Okay. Yeah, because you could use that, but it's up um, to you. I thank you for the follow. <laughs> what I've DM for what a year? No, it's not been a year. It's been almost a year actually. Also, if anyone else enjoys good D and D content. Go ahead and follow that link to that shout out I just put in my chat because Dana is fucking amazing. Like I said, 
Yes. He's super cool. And his overlay for this game is way better than mine, so go watch <laughs> him instead. He'll steal your nuts. <laughs> I stole his I stole his layout. <laughs> he will he will murder the competition. He's, he's I will stole say this his entire nutsack. I will say this. Uh, <laughs> I did talk to Dana about an idea I did have before, but Unfortunately, the story did sound a little complicated when you try and get the status system put into it as well. Hmm. Like, I'm good with stories, but I'm not good when it comes to adding numbers. <laughs> that just comes with experience, honestly. Like, I mean, like, because in my, in my case, like, early on, like, I was very RP-centered because mechanics can be hard to learn, especially when you're in a DMing situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of DMing, especially when you look at like professional DMs, they a lot of the shit that they know is memorized. Yeah. Like it's not one of those like, oh yeah, let me just check the book. Like, the reason why they speak so fast is because they literally have it in their head on key. Mm -hmm. um, let, it, let it be known, I do have to check the reference material on occasion. Uh, I don't memorize all of the rules, but I got a pretty good handle on most of them. Most. Oh yeah. Well, an idea I was given is to write it out as just like a normal story and see if anybody would care to take it and use that as a campaign. Hmm. And any any kind of like actions that are taken frequently, there's more than enough uh, reference sheets out there for DM screens or the like. Oh yeah, there's plenty of stuff. I yeah I. I learned DMing from a specific one that streams on Twitch, and then also just gaining experience from streaming itself. Um, about eventually. Yeah, it, it's just really a mechanics thing. Like, like really sneaks, or I should say, the mechanics just an experience thing. You play once you play the game more and more, you begin to like subconsciously think about it, and it starts to kick in. <laughs> also, if you use things like roll twenty; it does it for you. Sorry, I'm laughing at a GIF link that. Tables okay. put in the Discord. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my! Oh, poor dog. Why? <laughs> God <laughs> but, damn it! But, but, but <laughs> oh. it kind of is a good, uh, yeah, kind of Olia being harassed. Damn yeah, that's like Tazel. Like, it does. Olia is gold right now. <laughs> he is Mr. He is in Mr. Peanut Butter mode right now. Oh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. I make Goldie golden. As and always, I still haven't revealed my name. <laughs> Olya just minding his own business, and all of a sudden, fucking crows gotta come down. <laughs> Little fucker. All right. This is why I see my nightmares. <laughs> it's crows. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. <sighs> this I can't wake up. Don't take my nuts again. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all terrifying. Right. Everybody. Everybody ready to continue? Let's continue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. I need to right. save this now. God damn it. Uh. So as you, uh, you do uh, get a good night's rest after the uh, the crows and, uh, you know, yeah, manage to get back your, uh, your bags of food. Uh, the crows took a couple of, uh, couple of losses, but, you know, that's, that's the price of war. <laughs> I will defend us. <laughs> But as you uh, uh, go into the tenth day, uh, travel through the uh, through the mountains are still very it's very sparse. Uh, it's very quiet. Usually, there's a lot, a little bit of wind noise that comes through. Uh, but overall, it's very much a a quiet day as uh, everybody takes the opportunity to just kind of just relax a little bit, go with the flow, just. Uh, watch the road and uh, just kind of go along. Uh, hopeful, uh, the tiefling bard uh, in the back of Bade's uh, caravan uh, starts playing up a jaunty tune uh, to match the uh, cadence of the uh, horses clacking along on the uh, on the road. You already know what Eldrath gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you better enjoy it. Coming up to, uh, are you trying to accompany or are you trying to take over? Oh, just accompany. Okay, go ahead and roll performance. I swear if I get a one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> got a one. 21. Mm -hmm. 
So as you uh, you hear the sounds of his uh, loot coming from the back of uh, Bade's caravan, and uh, kind of wander up next to him and just start, you know, plucking at your lyre, just try to add a little bit of harmonies to uh, to his melodies. There we go. Mm-hmm. And uh, he just kind of looks over the uh, the back edge and gives you a smile and uh, just kind of gives you a nod and then switches up his chords a little bit as he catches up into a, uh, a little bit of a faster tune, kind of egging you on to see if you'll keep up. <laughs> Aldrath will... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm eating. <laughs> Aldrath will uh, smile in return and play a little bit faster than uh, hopeful is playing. All right. Go ahead and roll performance <laughs> again. Oh, no. oh, my Lord. It's, it's Bard a, Hero. It's that one Disney movie where the guy's, like, playing the you, like the guitar really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, oh, dueling banjos. No deliverance. No yeah. deliverance, please. <laughs> Terrible movie. <laughs> Uh, but you, uh, you, you more than keep up with him. In fact, you uh, add a lot of. Uh, you're kind of showing off a little bit as you add in some subharmonics uh, on top of the uh, of the uh, harmonies, and he just kind of gives you a, a curious look with his uh, pupilless uh, yellow eyes. Like, all right, all right, all right. You got some talent to you. Let's see how you can handle this. As he switches his ha- hand gripping and uh, really starts to. Oh, that's a natural one. Oh, poor guy. Oh. <laughs> As he rips down with his uh, fingers and one of the strings just snaps and goes oh. right across his face and leaves him a little oh. cut on the on the cheek. <gasps> ah. <laughs> ah! Ouch! Son of a... Ah. Oh. Am I there to help? Oh, uh, you're, in, you're in the cart, yeah. <laughs> you okay back there? Yeah, I just... I, I ripped my string and it just went across the, my face. Need a patching? Oh, I got it. As he reaches in and uh, grabs a, uh, a a handkerchief out of his uh, coat pocket and dabs it against his cheek. Oh, poor guy. Only <laughs> utter stones of uh, Oh, draft. Kind of just gives a. Uh, uh, just a knowing look. Mm. It's, uh, sometimes the music can play you, right? Yeah, I always get a little carried away. But, uh, <laughs> you got, you're pretty good. Uh, you, you should definitely, uh, when you get to Waterdeep, you should try, uh, performing in a couple of the, uh, taverns there. You'd probably make a good, good bit of coin. Mm. That does sound good. Uh, sounds fun. Um, yeah. As he uh, goes out and uh, reaches into his bag and starts fiddling around with a with a repair kit to uh, replace the string. Uh, I'll just kind of just go back to playing a uh, kind of calm, slow melody. As you uh, travel on through the day and uh, coming into the uh, the evening, uh, it's a uh, very quiet, very still through the night. And uh, but that night, while everybody is laying down uh, to rest, setting up their sleeping bags and tents and such, uh, you hear several people in the uh, caravan just suddenly let out a, a few gasps, and they point up at the at the sky. Mm-mm. Oh! As you all look up, Uh-oh. you see several Uh-oh. shooting stars streaking across the sky. Oh! I oh, thought they were crows. Flying through. <laughs> crows have artillery. <laughs> As Oli is flying in the distance. <laughs> Oli has just got that thousand yard stare. We call that a we call that a mortar of crows. <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Still but, pleased. Uh, you all uh, get a 20 minutes of shooting stars going across the sky. Nice. Uh, nothing malicious about them, just a very rare and beautiful scene as you all uh, share in the moment together. Very nice. Just awesome. One of those shooting stars is Master Chief. 
<laughs> Not in my cannon. Don't you dare. Not in my cannon. <laughs> There's something coming at us. Da -da -da -da. I will put down. <laughs> I'm put my foot down on that one. You're not that cannon. No Spartan yeah. wolf dogs. No Spartan had, wolf dogs. You had oh. one thing that no one else had. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what do you think you're doing? Sir. Uh, but as everybody is uh, looking out, uh, Marnella is uh, sidling up to uh, Samel and, uh, you know, holding on to his arm as they both look up into the night sky with uh, wonder and uh, fascination in their eyes. Bade uh, kind of nudges uh, Olia and looks up at the uh, eyes of them. It's quite fascinating, don't you think? Yeah. Something beyond my understanding. Yeah, just makes you wonder what, what exactly is falling, you know? Is it an angel? Is it a demon? Is it some kind of rock from deep beyond our uh, the skyline that we can't see? Who knows? It could be anything. What if they weren't falling? What if they were going up? What if there was you something... Know, that, you, you... Blew my mind there. <laughs> as, he, as he passes you a uh, a flask with a uh, very uh, sharp uh, liquor in it. Oh God! Oof! Hell yeah! Out of character, me <laughs> would be like ah, but oh yeah, fine with it. <laughs> Oof! Good one. Takes a swig it's of a... it. Little chilly out here, isn't it? Yeah. But nothing that a little thing like this here can't fix. It warms me up pretty quickly. -la -la -la. <laughs> uh, see, uh, takes a, a slightly longer swig and just kind of looks off to the side, just like, fuck. And. <gasps> I knew Are you it. challenging me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a what? challenge. <laughs> Try as to the, uh, but as the uh, rest of you uh, enjoy the show, uh, taking uh, taking a small break to uh, kind of uh, bask in the wonder of uh, the skies above you and the sight that you receive. The rest of the evening goes by uneventfully. Yay! Hooray! So, moving into the next day. Uh, you're coming along to the uh, other side of the mountains now, kind of traveling uh, a little bit further along into the Troll Claws, but you're still, like, just cresting the mountains at this point. And uh, as you do, uh, you're moving along, and uh, one of the uh, wagons that belongs to the cult, uh, suddenly there is a loud snapping noise and the sound of something falling and crunching. As you all look back and see that one of the wheels has gone into a divot and snapped uh, at the axle. Uh, and spilling out of the wagon is uh, a crate that pops open and is uh, spilling its contents down. Uh, two, of the, uh, two of the caravan passengers, uh, Hopeful and uh, a human who was uh, pulling his own cart, uh, Samardak, uh, go over to help. Uh, but Arthur people, joins them. as you uh, as you approach, they're just kind of waving everybody off. No, 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 we got it. Thank you, thank you. We got it. Thanks very much. Just mind your own carts, please. You don't know what's out here. While everyone's attention is to that, Heldreth will um, use the mask of many faces to make him look like one of the uh, caravan. Um, Cultists. Trying to match what they're wearing or whatever. Are you sure uh, about that? Uh, <laughs> I know. Here we go, another good idea. Perfect idea. <laughs> um, question. Even... Hmm. <laughs> I thought all the caravan cultists were dead. Dead. No, the uh, the people who were hired as guards are dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. People who are driving the uh, caravan, the uh, actual wagons, are still alive. Okay. Uh, 
Arthrax just looks at the wheel and then at them going, It looks pretty damaged. I think I can help you lift it up and we can get it working again. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, perception for me, Arthrax. Alright. <clears throat> Look, I just took a hit of moonshine. I'm, I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oof. Uh, as they are uh, slamming the uh, crate closed again and just kind of waving you off. No, we got it. We got a spare wheel in there. We're going to just swap it out and keep going. You just go ahead and go. We'll catch up as uh, they start uh, gathering up uh, whatever they need to uh, lift up the cart and get the uh, wheels swapped out. Uh, Eldraf, mm -hmm. go ahead and roll uh, Deception for me at mm -hmm. disadvantage. Or actually, no, this would be a straight roll. Because okay. you are using the mask of many cases. Um, deception, right? Deception. As you uh, assist them with uh, lifting up the uh, the wagon and uh, getting it set up on a uh, on a nearby log that they have pulled over, and uh, they go about uh, working and repairing on it. What are you going to do while they are un you know unattentive? So, first off, how many are there? Uh, in this wagon, there's three, uh, and you can see in the other wagons, there are two more that belong, that you know belong to the cult, mm -hmm. and, uh, you do see three others in each, uh, just kind of looking out, watching. Okay. Um, as they're working on the wheel, uh, Eldrath will climb into the cart that's broken. Oh dear. Just keeps getting better. Okay. As uh, they uh, take their time and uh, they start uh, getting the uh, new wheel on there and uh, get it propped back down, and it seems to be holding as they start uh, moving all of the items that they have uh, picked up and pulled out. They hand the, handing them to you to uh, place inside the caravan or the uh, wagon as you do so. Oh, indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> really <As> sneezing. <laughs> and uh, um, it takes the item, uh, yeah. about hmm? the items that they're handing me. What what are they? Uh, just uh, currently, they are some are small crates and small barrels. Some are a little bit larger that need a few more people to uh, lift and carry. Are you look are you trying to scrutinize them? Are you like um, trying to find something out about them? Or what are you what are you trying to do? So right now you are just in the middle of this helping them move stuff. Yeah, yeah. So in the cart itself, while I'm moving things into it, what what else do I see? Just more boxes, more crates? More crates, more uh, more bear. Uh, nothing is labeled, you note. Uh, everything is uh, very plain. Uh, doesn't seem to have any proofing marks or any symbols or uh, names of uh, shipping companies or anything like that emblazoned on the side. Just seem like blank park uh, crates and such. Um. Let me check my phone. So I don't think I have anything for this. Um. So, are any of the crates or barrels, like, are they just, like, locked tight, sealed tight, or can I actually kind of look into one? Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Okay. Perception. You, you try to get a good look at everything, but people are keep, keep handing you things, and they keep asking you to move something over to make room for something else. You can't really get a second to actually assess what's around you. Right. Okay. But uh, after, a, you know, about 15, 20 minutes of moving items, uh, finally they got everything packed back up, and they're ready to head out. 
uh, as they are all kind of uh, getting ready to settle in, are you going to stay in the cart? In the wagon? Um, the wagon itself is covered or uncovered? It's a covered wagon, yep. Covered wagon, okay. Um, is there anyone in the wagon or are they in the seats of the wagon? Uh, there's two people in the uh, seats up front and there's one person in the back uh, who is uh, looking over all of the crates. And then there's, uh, in the other uh, wagons, there's the three also in the same configuration. Okay. So, is the one that has his back, t uh, the one that's in the cart with me, is his back turned? Um, there's not a lot of room for that mm -hmm. to really be, like, he's aware of your presence. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as if he notices you or if he's looking at you, I mean, you're not sure. You're welcome okay. to try to roll stealth if you want to try to be stealthy about it. Well, I don't know how stealthy uh, Misty Step's gonna be. Um, I'll just leave the cart, I guess. I'm not still in the disguise. I'll just hop out. Just uh, hopping out? Mm -hmm. Okay. As uh, you uh, go move to the back and try to hop over the edge, and he looks up, and he's like, "I right, thanks for the help. We're, we're going to come and check the rest of the stuff in the, uh, when we get at the next stop, just to make sure we didn't lose anything. Kodra just nods his head. <clears throat> as you... Okay. As uh, they do uh, travel on uh, with uh, the rest of the group, uh, as they get to the uh, the next rest stop, catching up with everybody, uh, everybody sits down for uh, for you know for dinner. Uh, usually, when it comes to dinner, that's usually either uh, something that has been caught recently, or making uh, like a porridge or a gruel uh, served with uh, you know bread or you know some little bit of uh, fruit, perhaps. Uh, there is also uh, fern and uh, and uh, ooh. This is why I made the sheet. Because <laughs> I knew I would forget, too. Oof. Uh, Lilac. Lilac is a uh, female foxhole who is in a cart uh, that is being pulled by oak. Uh, and she sells fruits. Uh, exotic fruits, in Ooh. fact. Ooh. Where Fern sells more everyday kind of food. And uh, with a sleeping drunk crick in the back. Any, uh, any mountain-grown strawberries in there? Uh, you know, roll investigation. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was I making swear, a joke, but okay. I swear to God, if Valley is watching this, I'm gonna punch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. As, right, you, as you approach Lilac uh, and ask her if she has any uh, strawberries, she kind of kind of tilts her head a little bit. It's like, you know, it is in season for them. I think I got a few. As she uh, goes and reaches into one of the chests, as she opens it up, and uh, you do note that all of the uh, fruit inside looks as fresh as possible, even though you've been on the road now for almost two weeks. Nice. And she pulls out a little teeny tiny basket of uh, strawberries. Yeah. Uh, only about, uh, there's only like 10 of them in there. It's not a lot. Yeah. But she uh, holds them out to you and says, like, oh, you, you, two silver if you want them. Sold. Well, here you go. They have a ship in from Farnamore. There's a there's a monastery out there that grows some really incredible strawberries. Oh, you really? Son of a... okay. That's really cool. Uh, uh, you... It's my Thank world. You. I will do. I will do whatever I want. I know. Yes. I know. I know. It's <laughs> the thought of this being canon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm that, and I'm showing it to Val. Al, Al has uh, infected my D and D world with the power of strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> all I can, just all, I can, all I can see is just Jessica's face warping, and just hear the word strawberry. St 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 strawberry. <laughs> just echoing, it's breaking reality. So, uh, as everybody's sitting down, and uh, yeah, there's a uh, line for uh, the. Uh, 
cauldron that has been cooking with a uh, stew as uh, they are handing out bowls for everybody as they walk by and uh, everybody is uh, tucking in for a, a nice little bit of dinner. Arthrax, hmm? uh, can you roll me a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, dear. <laughs> so as you're uh, kind of taking a couple of bites, you know, it's Tastes a little off. It tastes a little weird. You know, it's like it's real bitter, which is really weird for a stew. And then, as you take another bite, you start feeling a little bit sick to your stomach. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh no! Is this the? Oh, they were undead birds, weren't they? And then, as you uh, you kind of put your bowl down and you just kind of start to feel really, really sick. Just, like, you're, you're... You don't know which end is coming out, but it's coming out. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. no. What do you... What do you, do you, do you hear the... This is the Mission Impossible theme song. What do you got? <laughs> he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna stand up and... Shout out, Excuse me, you may not want to try that. And run for some sort of cover, too. Be prepared. <laughs> so as you, uh, you you make your way over to uh, to a rock face uh, that is covered, uh, you know, covers you mostly. As you as you get to just behind it, your legs start going weak, and oh. you know, fall down to your knees, and you just it hurts so much as you start vomiting heavily, and you uh take. 25 points of poison damage. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god. What <clears throat> is this? What is this? 25? Uh, you, you can, uh, you all roll, uh, perception if you want to hear what's going on, if you're, if you're interested. <laughs> hear it, you say. Hearing. Why not? Yeah. Perception. Come on, man! Oh. I am not oh. gonna make the noise because I don't want to puke from this. Yeah, but no, no, no. We're not. Five. Yeah, there, we don't. We don't. We no don't need. We don't need. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't need that. Yeah, don't I'll worry. Draft. I wasn't anyway. Was going to follow uh, Arthur. Oh. Here. Uh, you would not have a pretty sight then. <laughs> I would. I wanted to check out the fucking stew. What is that? Looks like a looks like a mix of uh, beef and potatoes. A uh, little bit of uh, carrots in there. Some leeks. Uh, Looks pretty tasty, actually. Uh huh. Uh, Wait. Um... As uh, Olia and yeah. let's see, Eldreth, you said you followed. I was following Ooh. Arthrax. He... Okay. Well, uh, you have you witness uh, all of this, and Olia, you can hear the sound of really awful, awful retching. Uh -oh. <laughs> I feel sorry for the beard now. Jeez, I'm getting oh messy. no! Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, maybe I should go check that out. <laughs> right. Right. Just kind of like rubbing, rubbing his back. It's like, ah, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, make it stop! <laughs> As you're uh, lying on your side, uh, holding your stomach, just absolutely in the worst pain you've felt in in a long time. Like, oh. knives being jabbed into your stomach. I would prefer actual knives being jabbed in this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Olia knows where this is coming from, right? Yeah, you saw him run off. You okay, saw him I'm gonna, go after him, too. I'm gonna just walk over there and check to see if he needs any help. <laughs> is... Is anyone else checked out? Has anyone else taken a bite of the soup or taken a sip? Uh, several. Uh, everybody seems to be enjoying it, actually. It seems to be going what? quite well for them. Uh, they have not had any issues, as far as you can see. Uh, go ahead and roll perception check for me. Okay. See, as you're looking around the crowd. I just think Thank God they're... What? Give it a minute. Alright, so as you are uh, looking about, uh, you do see uh, Hopeful as uh, he's uh, putting his uh, bowl down, he's kind of got his he's clutching his chest a little bit and uh, he kind of coughs and 
packs up a little bit of something and then realizes that it's you look over and you realize it's blood oh jeez oh. oh no oh no this is gonna get up stop everyone stop drinking it stop so everybody looks around and is like what what are you talking about he just coughed up blood stop there's something in this as everybody stops and looks over to see hopeful just leaning up against the uh the rock that he was uh resting against and he's just panting heavily as he's wiping blood from his mouth if you drink it make yourself throw up right now what what are you talking about everybody is just looking at you confused and looking over at hopeful just uh Bade runs over and is like hope oh, hope oh, what's wrong what's wrong how do you my stomach my stomach hurts oh it really hurts all right, let's let's yeah. let's get you some water. Let's get you some. Come on, we'll go over to the wagon and get you some water. Come on. Someone else just ran off earlier. The 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 old man. He. Oh, there's. I think there's something in this. All right. Is anyone else experiencing any sort of stomach pain? Anything? Uh, everybody kind of looks around and nobody raises a hand. Uh, everybody seems to be shaking their heads. Okay, so hopeful is which one is hopeful again? Uh, he's a tiefling. He's uh he's he paid for his passage. He's not a guard. Okay, so he's a tiefling in the Nortex of the Spider. Who made this? Uh, at that, uh, Fern kind of holds up her hand. And, well, well, I did, but I, I took good care of it. I mean, I made sure that everything was fresh. I don't doubt. Crick uh, steps up and kind of steps between you and Fern. You got something to say? Oh, good. I'm not trying to blame, point fingers here, Crick. This obviously isn't her fault. There's just something wrong here. There's two people that suddenly just gave out. One coughs up blood, and the other's vomiting in the corner. Jesse, oh. Jessica slash Jesse steps up uh, with a hand on <clears throat> Zir's shoulder and just just. Uh, looks at, I'm sorry, uh, Fern was her name? Fern's the, uh, rabbit folk. Crick is the, uh, wolf folk. Right, who, uh... right, and Fern was the, the cook that made it, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you pass the bowls out to everyone directly, or did anyone hand them over on the way? Well, well, no, I was just making it. I, you know, it's, it's the, it's everybody else's job to move it out. I just make it. I, uh, okay, I don't know okay. who was passing it out. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I just wanted to ask. And Crick kind of steps forward and kind of just holds out a hand, like, and just says, hey, how about we all back off of Fern and everybody just relax, okay? Jesse nods. There, there, was, there was no ill will towards Fern. It was just trying to see if there was uh, any chance of a, a middleman, in which oh. case it seems there was. There seem, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Well, I I don't understand if you or everyone else is okay, but is this all from the same pot? Like, did we all like... Yeah, it's take... uh, one big yeah. one cauldron. Okay. I'm going to take a sniff. Okay. Uh... Are you just trying to get a big old whiff of it, or are you trying to look for something? Um, I would say, like, I'm just trying to investigate it, like, in every angle I can think of. Like, I guess, like, sniffing it, like, I don't, I don't even... Okay, well, that'll be, that'll be investigation, then. Okay. Shit. Oh, I mean, looks like a normal beef stew, as far as you can tell. Maybe a little heavy on the parsley, but... Would it be possible for Eldrath to do a medicine check on um, Arthrax here to stop uh, the pain? See any you can certainly... Yeah, in you can the, certainly uh, try. Like the vomit. I yeah, should you, probably you check try. too because I followed right. Uh, yeah, you can both uh, either both roll medicine checks or okay. Sorry, I was already clicking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I rolled. Cool. Hey. Uh, so, 
as uh, as you are inspecting, uh, you know, from a distance, not you know, getting right up into it or anything. But uh, you can tell that uh, there is a little bit of blood mixed in with uh, Arthrax's uh, vomit as well. Oh, great. Uh, and as you're kind of looking up at Olia, Olia nods and confirms what you think. Uh, this was poison. Looks mm. pretty spiked to me. Do you, have, do you have any means to cure poisons? Me? Ah, uh, shoot. All I got is this potion of healing. What do you think uh, I should do? You as a paladin uh, can expend five hit points from your lay on hands pool and that can cure a target of disease or neutralize poison. Oh, just five lay on hands? <laughs> yep, five points of lay on hands. I mean, if I can, I will, might as well do that. All right. So uh, as you put your hand onto uh, Arthrax, uh, you put some of your uh, your faith in Gaia into him as you uh, make a plead to Gaia to help him with his suffering and to ease his pain. And while, as, uh, hmm? and while he's doing that, uh, Eldroth will take... Um... Oh, okay. I can see it now. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's going to use the potion of healing that he has and uh, give it to Arthrax. Just kind of hold his head. And... Okay. Well, Arthrax, you recover from uh, you recover five hit points, and you are no longer poisoned. Um, yeah. He just groans as he sits up and happily not feeling that anymore. Thanks, guys. God, that was awful. Feeling better, tough guy? Uh, a little bit. But good, now I want to know who did that and what was their purpose for it. Hmm. As you all uh, look over and you can see Aldrich has uh, moved over to uh, Hopeful and has uh, also done the same thing. Hopeful definitely looks a little worse for wear, though, after that. Uh, crap. As uh, they, uh, as Bade and uh, and Aldrich uh, help pick him up and move him into the uh, wagon to rest. Uh, Jesse will follow after and uh, hand over one of their potions of healing as well to Hopeful. He'd be like, "Here, take this." Thank you. As he just kind of squeezes his eyes shut and curls up into a fetal position in the wagon and just rides out the the pain. Uh, potion healing is 2d4? Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Plus 2. That's going to be 7 for Ooh. Arthrax there. Uh, that's actually going to be 9, because it's 2d4 plus oh, 2. Plus 2, yeah, sorry. 9. 9 for Hopeful as well. <laughs> Alright, 20 right now. Hopeful actually made his save. If he had not had made oh. his save, he probably would have died. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, uh, Arthrax took the full force, but you're oh, a, uh, you're an adventurer, so a little bit more meat to you, you know. Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> that more has He he returns to the site with the others. He's still groaning a bit from his stomach, not feeling too steady at the moment. You dead? Yeah, I'm fine. Take a seat and get some water. What do you think happened? Eldrath will scan uh, the caravan crowd. Slight, slight glare to his eyes. Um, um, roll perception. Add a character question. Can I roll something to state that Arthrax may have known what the poison is? Based on history oh. or something? Oh no. As far as knowing what the poison is, you would need uh, you would need proficiency with uh, alchem alchemist tools, I believe. Ah, uh, okay. Al never mind. Alchemist tools, alchemist supplies. I forget what it's called. Poisoner's kit. Poison. Uh, is there a poisoner's kit? Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, well, unfortunately, I don't have that. Oh well. I'll okay. check, but there should be. That might be a pretty specialized thing. That might be that might be a Xanathar thing. I don't know. 
Uh, 23. Oh, natural 20 with a 3. Yeah. Okay. Poisoner's Kid, yeah. That's the thing. Okay. So, uh, Eldrath, as you uh, kind of survey the crowd as they... Uh, many people are kind of putting their bulls aside, not sure exactly what's going on, but after seeing the, uh, the aftermath, uh, they've decided that they're going to skip that meal. <laughs> and uh, you look into... Uh, the area where the uh, the other three uh, wagons that usually set themselves a little a little further away from everybody else, and you can see one particular uh, individual just kind of looking back over towards you as your eyes lock, and he takes a drink from his mug. Mm. Mm. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no words. Uh, you're you're you know like oh yeah. 100 feet or so apart you're mm -hmm. not exactly like right up against each other in right a big, you do uh you do make eye contact with thaumaturgy uh eldrath will be loud and <clears throat> it's quite clear that someone here decided that offing a few of our allies was a good plan. And I'm going to make sure I find out who it was. Uh, go ahead and roll Intimidation. Oh! Yo! He's back to back God. 20s. Damn! Uh, they don't move, but their eyes do uh, avert as they uh, go about talking with the uh, other people that they are palling around with. Uh, several good. of the other uh, caravanners, though, are just, oh, well, now that's quite dramatic now, isn't it, sir? Uh, yeah, we don't know exactly. It could have just been a bit of rotten beef. It's not impossible. Uh, Thaumaturgy is still kind of up. Do you really know for sure? I don't think. Now, he turns to both the paladins, Olia and, uh, what was the other one's name? Sorry. Uh, Aldric. 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 Little dwarf guy. In your capable knowledge, do you both agree that this was poison? Uh, agree. Uh, uh, let me roll for Aldric just to see what he thinks. Just kind of looks over at Hopeful and looks back over to, uh, to where Arthrax is and kind of shakes his head back and forth as if he's trying to say, "Well, I'm not, I'm not sure." And he just, I mean, there's not, there's not many things that it could be. But I think it could be, from what I could check, it seemed. Pretty rough on him. Can't really explain what else it'd be. Other than that. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out and make sure that there's no other subterfuge and ill will going about, but without proof, I'm afraid, there's nothing I can do. What now? As I well, well, it turns to Eldra. <laughs> Eldra still has a death stare at uh, the cultists' caravan area. Mm. Hmm. And as uh, the rest of the evening is uh, riddled with a certain amount of tension and unease as people uh, go to eat just uh, plain bread and fruits and other things that are on uh, lilac and ferns carts. So the next um, day... Hmm? Well, 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 <laughs> Sorry, one thing. Uh, Eldrath will try to get 
all of the party together. Avengers assemble. <laughs> <laughs> what Frack the heck were twins. we called? What were we called on episode the, one? The um, interlopers. Yeah, the interlopers. interlopers assemble. <laughs> interlopers interlope. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think we all know who really poisoned the, our friends here. But how? Do you see any of the other caravan people doing this? Why would they do it? That makes no sense. Oh no, I, I completely think it's the people in the back, if you will, but I just don't understand how they're doing it. If we can figure out how they're doing it, then easy. I mean, it's not hard to slip something into a bowl before you pass it to someone else. Yeah, but mm -hmm. as they stated, everyone was responsible for their own bowls. So Why for, we know they got well, theirs first and then slipped exactly. something into the cold drain. Time out, time out. Not exactly. You did get into a line and somebody was filling up the bowls and handing them out. Mm -hmm. Which means that's pretty the main suspicious pot. to me. Which means that the main pot got touched by the poisoner, which means probably, well, in character, there's, if it was a line like, like this, then one of two things happened, either someone got the pot before us somehow and poisoned it, or someone along the line must have somehow did it. Okay, so, quick question to you, Dana. Mm -hmm. Was it just a singular line, or were there multiple lines? No, it's just one line, but it you know it wasn't like everybody lined up all single file uh, all at the same time or anything like that. People yeah. kind of you know took their time. But the people who were handing out the bowls were, were they kind of the same throughout the entire line? Or I, don't know. Uh, I would say roll perception. To see if uh, you would notice that. Yeah, you, know, you don't really recall. You kind of went just went up there and got a bowl and got some food and then moved on. You know, you're kind of focused on the uh, on the meal itself. It's been a long day. You're kind of hungry. Who handed you your bowl, Arthorax? Um, Darwell perception as well. I'm not gonna let everybody do it, unfortunately. Sorry. Heck. Uh, it was it was your one shot to know that kind of thing, but that was that was the party's role. Yeah. Dang. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The universe is like okay, two nap twenties in a row. We can't. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. Now, I don't think that they're targeting. Us, per se. It was just chance that you were picked up. That is what I think. But that does also show that they are trying to make a move here. I don't know why. There. <laughs> they could. All I can think of is that they either are trying to weaken the caravan up after their numbers were dwindling so heavily and they could be doing that for some sort of takeover they could be doing that just to even the pace so they don't feel threatened especially if some of them might have saw what you pulled last night and the other case the other case is that they may want to start infighting trying to get us at each other's throats. Yes. They want everyone to be on edge. So they'll be more focused on each other than on them. Especially after the crate. They push everyone away. Everyone's very interested in them. People are already curious about them. They want to get rid of that attention. Hmm. So why not put it on everybody else? Let's keep a closer eye on them, then. 
I don't know. That's the case. It makes me once wonder what's in those crates even more now. You can probably guess. I tried to look in, but I didn't get much of a chance. I want to go over there right now and murder every single one of them. Oh. Patience. You'll get your chance. Sorry. <laughs> Trust me, old ref, so do I, but right now, we need to continue this as casualty as less casualties as possible. Also, you just don't have enough evidence to do anything anyway. If we were to confront them now, I don't think anyone would agree with us at all. And then we'd be immediately found out. I mean, what are we even doing with this caravan anymore? Why can't we just move on ahead of them? We're trying to figure out what these cultists are up to. If, if we move beyond them, they'll probably keep doing what they're already doing. And we'll end up these people dying. They don't, they're wrapped up into this as much as we are, except they don't know what's going on. I don't want to see these people die just because of these fiends. Right now, I just need to get some sleep and get this over with. Count me in. <laughs> yeah. Rest up. And maybe pour out your own bowls from now on. Keep your eyes open. Sniff your bowl. All that. Just watch. Mm -hmm. If if we can, spread out a little bit for the next couple days. Cover the entire line. Yeah. Talk to people. You never know what other people have seen or too afraid to say it. I'm going to keep an eye out tonight. As you all uh, settle down for the evening, a little bit more wary of or, uh, traveling companions than you were before. And you all gain the benefits of a long rest, so you will, you are okay. Yay. Yay. That, was, that is still horrible. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. What a dick move. Yeah. First a fucking crow, then spilling my guts out. Jesus. <laughs> was was that another uh, random roll? Uh, they, these are all every day. There is a random possibility of an event happening. Yes. Okay. So there is always something that can happen. So, uh, well. As you all uh, get a nice rest and uh, getting up in the morning, uh, you're here in the mountains, so it's a uh, you know it's a little chilly in the morning at first, but uh, otherwise sun's shining, uh, it's rising up above, and uh, going to gather everything and get it all loaded into the carts and into the wagons. And while you're getting prepared, though, you can see above you that there you can see eagles high in the sky, just flying above you, just seemingly looking for their morning prey. Uh, there. Everybody can go ahead and make a uh, intelligence nature check if they like. Mm. Uh, uh, okay. Intelligence okay. nature. Nature. Oh. Are you kidding me? A tour. <laughs> 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 Where are uh, these rolls during combat? I know, right? <laughs> that's a bird. Nature. <laughs> Even that's only that's a, a negative <laughs> one. See. That's a choo-choo plane. <laughs> uh, I love choo-choo planes. So, uh, Olia and Arthorax, as you're both kind of watching the eagles fly around, and they start, you know, moving a little bit lower to the ground as they kind of glide down a little bit, and you're you kind of cock your head and look at them and just, huh. Boy, those eagles are a little bit bigger than I've seen eagles before. Shit. Wait a second. Oh, As uh, Eldrath, oh. you recognize immediately uh, these are paratons. Oh, oh god. I thought that was a rogue. I was about to have a heart attack. Oh. So Eldrath, uh, you know that uh, paratons 
uh, will hunt down for fresh hearts to consume before they lay their eggs. Good thing I don't have one. Oh, and it is mating season. Oh. Oh no, they're in heat. <laughs> and they are circling you as you speak. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh. Here we go. Oh, let me pull you over Let's to wait for our map. tokens. Yeah, we, yeah, we need the tokens. The tokens, I'm going to pull you into the map here. Fight, 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 fight. Oh. Oh, okay. I need to zoom out a little bit. There's two of them, right? Don't. Don't two. jinx it. Yeah. Don't jinx it. I'm just saying what I see. <laughs> All right, everybody click your token and roll Ooh. for initiative. Ooh. All right, where the <laughs> hell am I? Oh God, where am I? Um... Around the far <laughs> left. Uh, welcome back, son of a <laughs> what else is new? Life, man. It just comes at you fast, right? Oh, wow. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, things happen. Could be wild. Alright, let's game, gamers. Oh, that's better. Finally, a initiative worthy of a monk. <laughs> Jessica over here kicking my ass. <laughs> it <laughs> really sometimes. It really do. Sometimes it's just how it be. All right, so it's not going to be a surprise round since you guys did spot them and you did recognize what they were. So that means that Arthrax, it is your turn. All right. They are currently uh, 60 feet in the air. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is their location uh, in relation to the ground. Okay. So he's going to move up to there. Okay. And... So it's going to be mainly a disadvantage, but I'm going to use a short bow on him. Uh, which one? The This one right here? The one on the right, yes. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll to attack. Disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage, all right. Where's my short bow? No. Uh, 14 is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. And boop. Five. Five piercing. All right. As you uh, pull back and uh, launch your uh, launch your arrow and it goes into the, uh, the periton's uh, leg as it lets out a screeching cry in pain. Anything else for you? That will be it for the time being. Okay. Jessica. All right. Well, Jessica, or Jesse, after having seen the bullshit of the crows the other day, um, <laughs> ain't having none of that shit today. So uh, they will step and let me see here. Let me just, let me just double check real quick. Hold on one sec. Uh, Keep in mind that you also with spell sniper that affects all of your spells. Right. So you oh, don't oh yeah. No, this is spells. this is not going to be an issue at all. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I have with, a feeling about this one. <laughs> with a twirl of her staff into her offhand and a little stamp onto the ground, she she sticks out her right hand with what looks like a rock on pose index and pinky extended mm -hmm. as she twinned spell fireballs both of the <laughs> giant birds uh you cannot twin spell fireball or really you need fire bolt oh shit i didn't know that was i didn't know that fuck yeah, well that fire. threw off my plans all right well then Damn. just one then one uh one fireball it's the one that got hit damn i i did not know that that was that was that did not work for fireball all right cool Yep, it's only if it affects a single creature, you're able to hit another creature. Yeah. Hmm. This is a, this is a fair point though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, because if I put it 
Are they about the same distance? Hmm? They're they're both sixty feet in the air, and okay. you can place fireball at a point that you can see. Right. So it doesn't and, specify it has to be on a creature. And it, it they are within a twenty foot radius they are. of a central point between them. Yeah, they so, are. So uh, I will drop a fireball right here, uh, about sixty feet in the air, roughly. All right, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll the damage then. We'll see if they save. Ooh, my DC fourteen to save. Okay. All right. The uh, one of them uh, kind of ducks out of the way, trying to dodge the uh, brunt of the attack, but lets out a scream as it still takes some uh, some fire damage. The other one, however, did not see it coming and takes the full force. But it, they are both still alive. I am a little angry. I got two this one ones is, in that roll. This one is definitely worse than the other. All right. So that was the one that took the full brunt? That was the one that took the full brunt. Cool. Uh, all right. Anything else? Um... Yes, actually. Seeing that this one is actually not doing all that great, um, we're going to go with a... Wait. Dumb question. Mm -hmm. I can do a quickened magic missile, correct? Uh, no, because Wait, no. you have already no? cast the spell. That's right. But you can use it on a cantrip if you wanted to make a cantrip into a bonus action. That will work. Uh, I will use... Chill top no Eldritch Blast. All I right. forgot for a second that I had it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll twice because you did level up and you do get two beams now. Ooh. Alright. <laughs> Twenty-four and twenty. Twenty-four I'm hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight. Alright, as the uh as the bolt goes flying through it and just pierces right through its heart <laughs> as it stops flying and just flutters down to the ground and lands with a thud. Nice. Guess he got his dinner. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Can I still direct the other one at uh... Or go ahead and roll damage for the other one. Another eight. A solid hit. Uh, definitely hurts it, but it is, uh, it is still up. It is still okay. flying. Okay. I'll take it. All right. I am happy with my turn. That'll bring it to Crick, who uh, sticks his head out from the back of the uh, cart, sees that you guys seem to have it in hand, and he just goes back and starts drinking on his uh, jug. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it is your turn. Seer. Okay, so you said this thing is 60 feet in the air? Currently, yes. Oh no, my one weakness. Distance. <laughs> Air. Distance I can't cover. <laughs> um, you get some mm, boost for you. <laughs> uh, in a couple levels, maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I, um, yeah, I can't really do anything, you know? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to ready. I'm going to... Let's see. Let's see the distance. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to step up in the middle here. And I'm going to ready a strike with my fist, but it will be a stunning strike. Okay. So if it goes to attack me, I will use a key point to hit it with a stunning strike. Gotcha. Okay. And that will so be that my will turn. Bring it, bring it to Eldrath. Hello. I went extra and used the... Uh... Pythagorean theorem here to make sure oh. it's within distance. So I don't move. And... Nerd! Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, cast Scorching Ray um, at the surviving one. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Should be three separate Sorry. rays. Yeah. Three separate. Well, no, that's not it. 
Uh, look for the uh, macro on your core page. I didn't put it down. Okay. Hold on. No, that's still only does Okay. Um. Well, you can roll a d20 and add your charisma and your proficiency. Yeah, I was just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, d20 plus 7. Seventeen for the first. That's a hit. So roll two d six for fire damage. Yeah. Two d six fire damage. I swear I know how to play game. <laughs> Eight fire. Okay. Eight. It's having trouble staying in the air. And that's another Seven. hit. Oh, okay. Seven. Uh, as the second uh, scorching ray goes flying out. And roast this bird midair as yeah. the feathers burn away, and it falls down to the ground with a thud as it falls down dead. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And with that, combat is over. Oh, I thought he was with two hands up, going dinner. <laughs> Hooray! Says Crick from the back of the uh, from the cart. Mixer for my drink. <laughs> oh god. Oh, somebody's edgy. <laughs> <laughs> Crick is edgy. Crick's a little edgy. A yeah. little bit. We got reasons. Yeah, Y'all do. He has <laughs> baggage. Yeah, we can tell. He has reasons, Dana. Well done. Well done, everybody. I still love him, though. Yeah, we love him. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all yeah. on Crick. I was, really sad he got mad. I was really sad he got mad at me. I was like, no, you don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's very protective of Fern. He likes Fern. Understand. Is that a uh, Beastars reference? What? No. Oh, oh my god. god. Uh -huh. Oh no. my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Wait, rabbits. next thing we know, he has a best oh, friend who's a deer. About. No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. That's, uh, that's crazy talk. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't need you projecting onto me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. You're right, Dana. I, I shouldn't have guessed like that. <laughs> shouldn't have jumped to conclusions or made assumptions like that. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, this is I'm his 100% original OCs. Hashtag Raven. Raven is over party. I get it. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so after the excitement of the morning, uh, the rest of the day kind of goes uh, uneventfully. Uh, you do note that uh, Crick is a little bit more attentive than he normally is, kind of looking into the sky as he lays back in the uh, in the cart. Uh, you know, not not drinking quite as much, but still, uh, you know, leaning over every now and then, just getting a quick nip, real quick. You know. As you go into the uh, next day, you're uh, coming out of the uh, mountain range now, and uh, it's it was slow going through the mountains, thank, but now you're coming down into more of a open pass, so a little bit easier travel. Yay! And uh, as you are all uh, stopping uh, at for lunch, uh, just for you know you know real quick rest to. Uh, Grab a, grab a sandwich and you know stretch your legs a little bit. Uh, Arthur X, uh, while you're <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. listening to Lie just talk about like you know all the business plans that he has and all these schemes that he's thinking about, all uh -huh. these get rich quick schemes that he's been you know talking up. Uh, you you look over to the back of the uh, of the wagon and uh, looking inside is uh, one of the passengers who you had spotted uh, early in the caravan, but she's mostly kept to herself. Uh, she's completely green from head to toe. Uh, her hair, her eyes, her teeth, uh, her fingernails, uh, even her clothes are green. 
and she's kind of looking in and uh, trying to get Lai's attention, but he's, you know, babbling on talking to you. That hasn't really noticed that she's there. Um, he will... He will speak up a little bit and go, That's um, very interesting. I think our companion wants to have a word with you, though. As uh, Lai looks over, is like, Oh! Hello there! Uh, hi. Yeah, I... So they were saying that you had, like, cleaning uh, oils and stuff for, like, bathing? Oh, yes, yes, I have the finest in the in the caravan, I assure you. The finest on the way to Waterdeep, in fact. Very expensive, very important. Well, oh, well, I was wondering if you have anything that might, as she kind of points at her skin, clean this up, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Let me, uh, let me take a look. As she, uh, hops inside of the wagon and, uh, sits down cross-legged, as, uh, you see her legs, she is green from head to toe. As far as everything you can see about her, she is completely green. Hmm. She is green. Interesting. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not sound as catchy as I remember? <laughs> well, he, after looking her over, he, he asked the personal question of, um, so, what happened if you're not normally like that? Well, Did you get covered? Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of personal. Um, I may, I might have pissed somebody off, you know. And I woke up one day and I was just green, and now everybody's calling me Green Imza, and I'm just like, it's just Imza, but no, they gotta throw the green in there now, and I'm just want to get this off of me, but I haven't found anything that could get it off. As uh, Lai just uh, grabs a, uh, a a little jar of oil and he just takes out a, a, a clean rag and pours just a little bit on me. Says, oh, so, uh, "It'll cost you a couple of gold, but we'll give it a try. Uh, no refunds, though." Well, oh, fine. Yeah, just if if it works, it works. Thanks. Just here, and she holds out her arm and he tries to scrub at it a little bit uh, until she kind of pulls her arm back. She's like, "Ah, oh, you're being too rough." Sorry doesn't seem to be making any progress at all. Hmm. Well, you stated that you just got turned green after pissing someone off, right? Yeah. It uh, possibly could be a spell, then. I don't know if oils can work on spells. Well, I've, I've been to the clerics, and they tried to do, you know, remove it as a curse, and didn't, it didn't do anything. And we went to a we went to a mage, and they weren't able to uh, to break it off either. I don't know. I I, I, I haven't figured out exactly what. I just don't, I don't want to be green anymore. It's not easy being green. You know that everybody looks at you funny. Oh no. The... no I... <laughs> Gotta walk away for some. Eldra. Uh oh. Like sneezes or something. <laughs> uh, see, Duff knows. Duff knows. He gets it. He gets All right, it. I'm back. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Arthrax just thinks about it a bit, but he laughs at the compliment about looking different. Uh, trust me, I know how that feels. And even when you're different, you're actually really unique. Not everyone can be what you are. Good guy, Arthrax. Trust me when I say this. We will figure out a way to help you. But until then, take a th take a look at this like a good thing. I mean, no one else is completely green, and you can take it as an advantage. She just kind of looks dejected and uh, looks down at the ground, just like, yeah. And she uh, reaches into her uh, into her. Uh, to a pouch at her side and pulls out uh, two pieces of gold and hands it to Lai. Thanks for trying. He quickly puts his hand over hers to position her to keep it. I'll pay for it. Don't worry about it. She uh, 
gives you a nod and just uh, climbs back over the uh, edge of the back of the wagon and heads on back to uh, to the cart that she was traveling in. So. As you travel on for the rest of the day and uh, nothing uh, nothing eventful or dangerous happens. Oh. I don't know about Arthrax deeply thinking. <laughs> Any suspicious activity from our quote-unquote allies? Nothing as of yet. Okay. Our friends! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, coming up on the uh, 14th day, Oh, we're getting As close. you are traveling along, uh, you pull into the uh, grounds of a uh, ruined castle, uh, just broken and battered and falling apart. Uh, large, uh, large area of uh, land that is just kind of overrun at the moment with uh, with uh, trees and and wildlife. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, history. Let's see if. Any of you know this place? Nine. Hemstery. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, Arthur X, you've uh, you've heard of this place. However, uh, Jessica, uh, you uh, can remember this place vividly because this was a. Uh, uh, famous uh, location for a dwarven uh, kingdom that uh, you had to study about because they were a ancient race of uh, dwarves that fought a j many battles, uh, but over time their numbers dwindled to the point that they were overrun, and uh, the castle has seen many other uh, uh, inhabitants, but it has always held the name Dragon Spear. Hmm. Duff Wolf, the history buff. <laughs> yes, I did see my screen dropped off, and I don't know why it, that. But oh no! Uh oh, it, it's we're back up, but now it's I. I'm gonna have to edit that together, I guess. I don't know for stream purpose, but whatever. Uh, we're up and running now, so. Hopefully Everything I'll, okay now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just moving forward. I haven't been paying attention, so. Is OBS behaving now? Like, is I, it is it green square? I am. I am broadcasting. That's all I know. Okay. So, as far as I can tell, everything is fine. I'm looking at your stream right now, Dana, so like, I'll occasionally check to make sure it's on and stuff, and I'm pretty sure Tazel is too. said it happened like 20 minutes ago, so I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, Tazel brought it up in my chat, and I didn't really get a chance to respond to it, but... I, th I took that She also said, me. never mind, it's back up now, so... It was probably just a blip. Yeah. yeah. Wireless, so I probably just lost signal. But anyway, uh, continuing on. Uh, so the uh, caravan uh, pulls in to uh, what looks like was probably an old courtyard area, perhaps. Uh, it's not as large or grand as some of the uh, mansions and such that are in Waterdeep, but uh, it's still fairly good size for how old it is. Uh, there are still some awnings that were uh, made you know, several centuries ago. They're made of rotted wood, but they'll provide cover from the elements. Uh, gives you everybody a chance to, uh, to rest up and uh, let the horses and the mules and the donkeys uh, and all the other beasts of burden, uh, like oak, uh, out of their harness to uh, graze and rest up and just uh, everybody chillax. Several of the uh, other caravanners have already started uh, unloading their tents to uh, set up for the uh, day to uh, rest their feet and uh, go over all of the uh, details of what has occurred over the last week. We're, we're in like a courtyard, courtyard yep. you said? Yep, you're uh, looking into the, uh, you're in a courtyard with the uh, ruins of the castle uh, surrounding you. Hmm. Mm. Eldrath wants to explore. <laughs> so does Arthrax. Alright. Someone say explore. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you, uh, as everybody gets uh, settled down and, uh, you, uh, kind of look around the ruins and just, uh, start 
moving out, just trying to see if oh, we'll take a look around and see what's out there, you know? So start moving into the ruins. They're all very worn down. Uh, there's not really any doors anymore. They've all been splintered and ruined from various raids and such. And as you're looking about, uh, dark, it's musty, uh, seems to be empty. Eldraft. Yeah. I need you to roll perception for me, please. Was that the sound of rubbing hands or someone activating yes. a machine that keeps you alive? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it was me rubbing my hands together. Out of, out of like, here we go. I thought someone's life support turned on. <laughs> uh, so as you're uh, walking along, uh, Arthrax and uh, Zier are kind of walking ahead of you, just kind of taking in the area. And uh, you look down, and you see a uh, a little marking on one of the bricks. And your memory recalls that that marking has a significance. Mm -hmm. And I'm, uh, I will message you. <laughs> I, I, Discord is being stupid right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, Eldrath will kind of curiously look at it, kind of just crouch down, be like, uh, kind of say, In this symbol seems familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe I should put my finger on it. Mm. Arthrax stops to look over. <laughs> what are you talking about? This, as he's slowly <laughs> reaching down with his hand. Can I? Can I like? I do a message on Discord if you didn't see it. Oh. Can Arthrax quickly shoot a web to stop his hand, just in case? Just let's take a step back, please. <laughs> let's 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 roll it back just a little bit so that we can get the message that I sent him. Okay, I see. Okay. You. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna still kneel down and look at it curiously. Um. Is is it um, carved into the stone, or does the stone look like it could be moved? Uh, that would require an investigation check. We'll try to investigate it then. Uh, definitely looks like it's loose. Okay. Um. I'm try to use sleight of hand to lift the rock. All right, go ahead and roll sleight of hand. Very nice. Stepping away very briefly, but I still have my headphones on, so I'll hear everything. Mm -hmm. As you uh, move it to the side and uh, pick up what was located uh, underneath it. For the moment, it'll just keep keep it on me, and then continue right. on. Arthur Axe here. Uh, you you've been kind of meandering along, kind of looking at everything, just kind of admiring the uh, the craftsmanship of what's left of it. And then you note that uh, Eldrath's not behind you anymore. Oh man, where did he go? Uh, I don't know. Eldrath will hide. All right, both stealth. Well, <laughs> well, since they're also away from everyone else. Oh, you son of a bitch! I'm looking for you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, while they're away from everyone else's eyes, he'll take the he'll take the moment to go ahead and take off the beer for a, a moment to get the itchiness away for a bit. Oh damn, the stupid beard! All right, let's go find Eldraf. Make sure he's not getting into trouble again. All right. 
<laughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on. <laughs> Just use you. My goodness. I took a breath and then I, something else went down there instead of air. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what it was, funny. but I don't want to find out. Please don't. <laughs> All right. So, Eldrath, uh, I'm posting in uh, Discord for you. You can read it at your leisure. Oh, yeah. uh, but you have it. Uh, as you uh, start to move away from everybody, uh, from the uh, other two, uh, go ahead and give me another perception check. This time with advantage. Me? <laughs> yes, Eldrath. Sorry. Advantage. 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 Okay. So uh, as you're walking through the darkness and the uh, the lights coming through some of the uh, open windows and holes in the wall, you you stop as uh, you get the scent of what smells like definitely somebody who hasn't bathed in a day or two, somebody who has <laughs> probably been hiding in uh, mud and dirt and you definitely feel somebody's presence but it's, you don't see them but you can sense them with your blind sight mm -hmm. um, kind of in a hushed dr hushed tone and in draconic I know you're there are you with the warm bloods? What the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> I am not. Are you with the bad people of the dragon? Of course not. Is that what are you what are you are you are you lying? Are you trying to persuade um, him? Uh, <laughs> uh Eldrath is almost taken aback that he would suggest that he was with the uh, other others. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, peeking around the corner, just to your right, you see a little white snout peek out huh? from the uh, corner. As a white scale kobold sticks their head around the corner. <gasps> Eldrath will uh, kneel down and his disguise self fades. Hello. You are dragon kin. Yes. Uh, Eldrath will kind of un uh, unbutton the top of his uh, tunic to kind of show the uh, markings that are underneath there. Um, it it looks like uh, a dragon's claw, and each of the five points has the uh, colors of chromatic dragons. Uh, as he sees it, he hisses and takes a step back. Don't bad worry. people! The bad people! You're with the bad people! No, 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 no. I'm See. trying to stop the bad people. Uh, roll persuasion. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's having a little bit of trouble believing you as he uh, takes a another step back and no, 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 no. They, they, they came. They, they, they destroyed the temple. They, they burned the temple. I, Nock only ran away because he needed to stay and keep the teachings alive. He had to leave. It, you, you're you're here to finish finish knock off. Mm -hmm. Knock doesn't want to. Uh, Eldrath kind of just raises both of his hands reassuringly. He's like, "I'm not here to hurt anyone. I was, I'm with Caravan. I'm not here to hurt you." As he keeps his back pressed against the ball, eyeing you closely. Now. 
What temple are you talking about? Kind of looks at you curiously. Mm. Secret temple. How secret? Very secret. So secret you can't even tell me? No. Not even for... Pulls up a handful of gold. <laughs> he uh, shakes his head and looks away. Hmm. Interesting. The cobalt doesn't want gold. What was your name again? Knock. Knock. Who's there? Oh. Ew. Really? Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. That was good. That was good. That was good. Uh, oh, I had to. Knock. My name is Eldrath. I am with a party known as the Interlopers, and we are trying to stop the Cult of the Dragon, as it were. Uh. Go ahead and roll another persuasion. Mm -hmm. uh, with disadvantage, because you did show him the emblem that you carry. Mm -hmm. Nice! No Oof. Bad. He kind of quirks his head a little bit and starts moving closer to you to kind of get another look at you. Hey, I'll drop this. Completely relaxed, sitting cross-legged, just small smile, trying to be as friendly as he can be. Uh, as you, as he approaches you and he steps into the light, uh, you can see that he's wearing uh, what look like acolyte robes. They've been ripped and stained. Uh, they've definitely seen a lot of uh, a lot of woodland and wildlands uh, being ripped apart by, you know, thorns and such. It's very dirty. Like it's been out here for for a long time. Uh, let me check one thing real quick because I don't think sh shape water needs a water source, correct? Uh, shape water, yes, does. Yeah, I need an area of water. Okay, never mind. Then. I was gonna create water different. Create water is different, of course. Yes. Um. Precedentation would be something, but I don't have that, so. Okay. Um, uh, Eldrath continues in Draconic. Um, you look like you've been through a lot. Do you need some food, some water? I definitely have some on me right now. His eyes kind of widen when you say food and water, and he nods his head feverishly. Okay. Take out the water skin that Eldrith has and a handful of uh, day rations and kind of. Uh, he'll put the water skin on the ground and lay the rations on top a few feet away from him and just lean his back. See, uh, cautiously steps forward, watching you closely as he does before rushing to the food and grabbing it and starting to wolf down on it and suck on the, the uh, water skin as he just try to get uh, some water into his mouth. and He coughs a little bit as he eats a little bit too quickly, but he uh, recovers and just... <sighs> Thank you. I try to help who I can. As he uh, kind of looks dejected at that. Nock wasn't strong enough to help. What happened? The temple was destroyed. They burned it. The bad people. Were they brandish brandishing the symbol similar to the one I just showed you? He nods his head. Those people are I agree they are not good people they have taken things to the extreme and that is why I'm on a mission to stop them 
uh, as Nox spits on the ground. They worship the evil queen. You're a follower of Bahamut. He kind of stiffens up at that and. No. No, no. No. No, there are no temples for Bahamut. And who do you worship? Uh, you can roll inside if you'd like. Mm -hmm. My insight's not the greatest. <laughs> he uh, he goes back to chewing on some rations, uh, avoiding your question. Hmm. Well, do you have? Anywhere else to go? He, uh, looks around and shakes his head. I know it's difficult to trust someone you have just met. And I cannot guarantee that the path that my group and I are traveling would be safe. But if you would accompany me to the next town, I would gladly help you. I don't turn my back on a dragon king in the end. See, uh, looks into your eyes, and then his eyes trail down your neck to the symbol around. Uh, to the, where the symbol hangs around it. Oh, it's not a symbol. It's it's like tattooed. Oh, it's a tattoo. It, oh. It's it's that it's you the marking. That, that detail. Sorry. No, sorry. The 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 marking on his chest is the um, the dragon mark at the beginning. Like, mm. uh, let me see if I can get the right wording for it. But it's the one thing that allows me to use. Um, my... Right. Right. The aberrant dragon mark, that's what the one. So as he's, uh, he kind of looks at it, then... Not take chances. Thank you for food. Mm. Wow. If you must know, our group is heading north, along the path. If you follow, I will try to help you out and bring you more food and water. You can almost hear his stomach growl at the idea. As he... <laughs> he gathers himself up and eeks back into the shadows. And before he leaves, he leans forward and the blessings of the Platinum Dragon be on you as he disappears into the shadows. Eldrith kind of rolls his shoulders kind of in like a slightly uncomfortable way. But nods and Leaves, goes and finds uh, Arthur X and, uh, and Zier. Where is he? What the fuck? Where did he go? Uh, who knows? I just when I was just enjoying the, the architecture. I don't like him just randomly going off like that. Then the last time you, he stops and. I guess you would say throws a fist in the direction he hears the boo? I'm pretty sure Eldrath anticipates it now, so he, he's <laughs> he's ready for it. <laughs> Where? Where were you? I was just exploring. Rex just growls. You are find... lucky. Did you find anything? No. <sighs> yeah. 
In character, he would roll insight. <laughs> in character, he fucking would. Okay. And inside, because, yeah, considering how he I, knows I, those held up this much, you yeah. Have a that's his. You have that, a chance. <laughs> oh, not much of one, but we'll see. Oh, oh shit! They, he is hiding something. Eldroth, what did you find? Uh, Eldroth rolls his eyes. Say, Come on, y'all. No, I don't. I. I came across a cobalt. Cobalt out here. That's what I was wondering. And it's one that I haven't seen before. It was a pure white cobalt. Uh, I know anything of the significance of a white cobalt. Uh, you can roll, uh, I would say nature, or, yeah, nature would apply. Okay. Nature for both of us? Yep, sure. Oh, oh. Nymph, nothing. Sure. My dragon Never. knowledge has failed me. <laughs> Never heard of a white skipped cobalt before. That is different. What is what is it doing out here? Uh, his name is Knox, and I tried to see if he wanted to accompany us to the next town at least, but he said he would take his chances. He may follow the caravan. I told him that I would bring him food and water. Is he not everything I do is bad. Okay? I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I just... This might be very important. Wait. Um, Zir is very much like... Does this Nox worship him? No, he does not. What does he worship? What does he? Well, at least that's good knowledge. So he's just here. There's nothing of significance here at all. It's just he's just here. And from the looks of things, he's been through a rough patch, and this was a place of refuge. Can I know this sounds stupid, but do you think we could go find him again? Ah, he is very good at hiding. <laughs> I only noticed him. Well, I don't know if he takes... doesn't take kind to warm bloods. Maybe normal ones, but not me. Trust me. How did, he, how did he react with you, then? Well, Eldrath is still in his regular form. He hasn't uh, changed back to the human form yet. He saw what I am. And his response? Well enough to accept some food and water from me. Give me his name. If he does follow us, it would probably give us a chance to get to know what he knows. Maybe become an ally to us. Also, we give the cult a chance to find out what we're doing. Hmm. That's why I want to go talk to him now rather than later, because the later we let this happen, the worse it's going to get if he follows us and the cult grabs him. He doesn't worship Tiamat. What are you gonna do? Especially if we're talking to him. Well, they could pin him for poisoning. And they could pin him for so many things. He's a cobalt. Uh, as I said, he seems very capable of hiding. I only just noticed him because of my senses. Can you at least see me, Tori? Let us, like, give it a shot. I'll go ahead and head count. back to the others, and we'll let them we'll update it with them as well. Maybe okay. if you're... Maybe if we're together, he'll come out again. 
So, what are we doing? Eldrath's basically... He, he'll explain where exactly... He found a plot to knock us, but he refuses to go back. All right. Okay, Zir will... Zir, I'm gonna... Zir's gonna grab a day's worth of ration from his own set and walk to wherever Eldrath pointed and kind of... Huh. Our I'm going to do something. I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Artifacts, I need you to not be seen. Because he's not going to come out because of me being a warm blade. He's going to come out of something different. I'm going to probably use the walls and take cover. If you can hide and hide well, hide better than him. I have a chance. This is very important to me. Alright. I'll do my best. Eldrath doesn't uh, leave the ruins. He kind of just finds a spot where there's light kind of shining through and read. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is Arthrax hides is I'm going to put the food and water down. And where where Eldrath uh, told us to go, and I'm just going to I'm going to look around for a second to see if he's nearby. Uh, can I make a perception check for that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Eighteen. As you're uh, you have dark vision, so you're able to see into the shadows and kind of turning your eye along and just trying to see as much as you can and you see the faint flicker of a tail a white tail duck behind one of the walls what I'm going to do is I'm going to start he's going to take a deep breath in he's going to do what he always does when he's by himself He's gonna start making the moves and the motions of the traveler. <laughs> Going through the rhythmic patterns of what he knows of martial arts and what he's learned. He will pose very similar to his actual fan art, actually, <laughs> um, in his dragon stance and move around, except the difference between the one that was performed that no one saw before is that this is not one to be um, flamboyant this is a very very tight focused silent form and you're just going to do that for several minutes and hopefully uh with the food in front of him and arthur just watches while perched up on one of the walls as well oh sorry final detail just our just arthur yeah um Zir will also put down um, the symbol of the Traveler next to the food. And he will start doing his thing for okay. several minutes. Arthrax, go ahead and roll stealth. <laughs> mm. so as you're going... As you're going through your uh, your form and your kata, uh, as you uh, do a rotation, uh, mimicking a uh, like wings f uh, flying down and smacking against an enemy, uh, you can catch out of the corner of your eye a uh, a white snout and uh, blue eyes looking uh, around the corner, watching you as you dance as you go through your dance. As I'm doing that, and I see that I've caught his attention, I'm going to speak out as I'm going through the motions. Do not be afraid, Nox. I'm a friend. One of the metallic. The silver. Also known as the traveler. I wish to speak to you, if you're willing. And I've brought food in representation of who I am. Uh, 
uh, go ahead and roll Persuasion with advantage. Come on, Charisma, you have a minus one. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Please. Do it. Please. Where's Persuasion? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's decent. Oh. As, uh... He, he watches you for a moment before he comes around the corner, hugging the wall, staying down low as he moves closer and closer. He doesn't say anything. He wa he looks down at the food and the uh, the symbol that you carry that you've put next to him, and goes back to watching you. You move like they do. That's because I was taught by one. You've been blessed. Yes. See, uh, stands up and starts walking a little bit closer to you. And then he, he looks over and sees Arthorax against the wall and he takes a step back, just jumps backwards. Do not mind him. He's. He's not, no one's here to hurt you, trust me. If you he want the light leave, wave. If you want him to leave, I will make him. Uh, Arthrax, do you speak Draconic? I believe I do. Yes, I do. Okay. As he looks between the two of you, and he points uh, at Arthrax. Another acolyte? No. A friend. I'm the only blessed, as you called it. He, uh, he does step forward and uh, does a little bit of a, uh, a bow to uh, Arthorax. Uh, Arthorax stands up while still attached to the wall and gives like an awkward sideways looking bow back. May the Platinum Dragon watch over you. You as well. He the, looks with, down at the food. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make a move towards it, though. I'm just going to finish up my, uh, my practice and then sit cross-legged in front of the food. Take the medallion, pull it towards me, and push the food out towards him as far as I can. I just wish to speak with you. If you want my friend to leave and have us be alone, that is fine. Just know that you are among friends here. Friends of the metallic dragons. He moves forward and uh, sits down next to the food and he grabs a, a piece of it and starts chewing on it. Praise oh. Praise Bahamut. Now, I understand you met um, another friend of mine, the um, Eldrath. His uh, snout seems to crinkle a little bit at that. No trust him. I do not blame you. He is a very shifty character. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I did not mean to do that, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that, that works. Um, <laughs> but he is trustworthy, at least on my account. I, he told me about you, and I wanted to speak with you myself due to the fact that, well, you both worship metallic dragons and. To be honest with you, this is the first time that I have met someone who worships the same thing, or at least something similar to me, in this country. I'm foreign, I'm not from here, actually. He kind of bows his head a little bit, seemingly dejected. At the last of my temple, the bad people destroyed it. 
I am sorry for your loss. It must be devastating to know and to carry such a burden. I have prayed every night to Bahamut to understand why this has happened. He just looks at the food and takes another bite. And he just shakes his head. No answers. It's difficult. A sibling rivalry. He nods feverishly at that. The evil queen. Truly. She has ravaged the town that I we actually came from where we started. The bad people are nearby and I'm guessing how Eldress said we hunt them. When you say they're nearby, he kind of stiffens up a little bit. His eyes go wide. No, 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 no. They cannot find Knox. They cannot find him. They cannot they're not find that him. close. They're not that close. It is just us here. And if they even step near here, they won't. I won't let them. See, none of us would. Kind of stands up a little bit and kind of paces a little bit. Says, Nox is the only one left. Nox is the only one who knows. He knows the, the story, the, the, the tales, but, but he, he, he wasn't finished learning about the tales. And, and, and now I have to tell everybody, and I don't know, I don't know all the... And he just kind of covers up his uh, head with his, with his hands and just digs his claws into the top of his, uh, into his scales. Nox is not... It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Patience, friend. You're among good company. It's okay. I understand being the only one that knows. But if you want to change that, there is someone that's willing to listen to what you do know. Someone of the same kin even though I am technically a warm blood. As he uh, steps forward, uh, as you're still sitting cross-legged down on the ground, and he's you know, just about eye level with you, and he approaches closely until his, he's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And he's staring into your eyes. And then he smiles little bit of dragon. Good enough. I'm glad someone sees it. And as he, uh, he reaches into his, uh, robes and pulls out a, uh, an amulet and hands it to you. And uh, on the uh, face of the amulet, uh, you recognize the symbol of Bahamut, the platinum dragon head with the blue background on a shield. Is this yours? He shakes his head. Head cleric. He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Nox is not a cleric. Can't have it. Not ready. And he hold he grabs your hand and puts it into your palm. You who flies with dragons. You can take it. I... I... If you trust me this much with it, enough that a dragon can, can see a dragon within a cat like me, then... <sighs> sure. And he'll uh, hold it and pocket it. I'll look at this later. Now... 
Um, if we want to talk, or if you want to talk, can you tell me what you know, if anything at all, that maybe instead of leaving both of us with being our only kind, maybe we can become two of a kind. As he, uh, as he, uh, looks at you and kind of nods and I can tell you, tell you everything. And he does. As he explains that there was a, uh, caravan that came, uh, a few days before and he was in a temple that has been hidden for many, many years, uh, is a, he does worship Bahamut. And there was an attack by the Cult of the Dragon. And they killed everybody. And the only reason that Nox got away was because he was small, he was hit, and he was able to duck out when nobody was looking. He almost didn't get away, but with help of the uh, cleric, he was able to get away with uh, with their distracting of the, uh, the cult, but it did cost the lead cleric their lives. And he escaped into the uh, forest and watched as they burned the temple down to the ground. And with it, they took everything, everything that was a symbol of Bahamut. Now, the way he describes these people, like how they look, what they do, are these the are these like clearly the cultists that we're tracking or with, so to speak? Uh, he mostly describes uh, humans, uh, humanoids uh, amongst them, uh, a couple of kobolds, uh, red scaled. But then he he pauses and shudders a little bit, and then he he says. The black scales. Her. Her stiffens. <sighs> yep. That's who we're after. That's quite a tale, Nox. Again, I'm sorry the temple was lost to them. As he kind of brushes off his acolyte robes, now having gotten some food in him and found people who are listening to him and not trying to kill him. There have been other temples. There will be more temples. The biggest <laughs> loss is the lore, the stories. Mm hmm. Nox doesn't know them all. Do you know of another temple that you can go to? Uh, he ponders for a second and... Mm. One in Waterdeep. That's where we're heading, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ultimately, yes. That is our destination, actually. Although it might be better if you travel ahead of us rather than behind. Do you think you'd be safe traveling? It's, uh, kind of flexes a little bit and not Nox is good at hiding. Okay. Um. Okay. I have an idea. Can you collect food on your own, or will you need food? As he kind of looks down at the scraps that he's uh, left behind, and like, more would not be bad. Okay. Um, how much food, like, do you think I would have on me? Like, I have, like... Well, you are being fed by the uh, caravan, so any rations that you've had are still available. 
Okay. I'm just gonna like. Ar Arthrax? <laughs> yeah. We, we need to get him as much food as possible. He smirks and gives him pretty much all the ration he had on him to the kobold. I will give him as much as I can of mine as well. Uh, he has nothing to carry in it, mind you. Oh. oh, I have a backpack. I'll give him the backpack. Okay. Hey, there you go. Fill the backpack up with rations. Floors kit, baby. Alright. So the backpack. He straps on the backpack and uh, fills it up with rations and as uh, he finishes uh, loading up, he kind of grabs your hands here. Mm -hmm. Says, the metallics will watch over us. They will watch and protect. I hope to see you at Waterdeep, friend. Be safe. As he uh, pats your uh, hand, keep keep practicing. And you will fly, just like dragons. Keep practicing as well, and Buhamet will hear you. As he smiles and runs off into the uh, shadows. Well, that went well. I think it did. <sighs> I hope he makes it. Sorry. I want him to go ahead of us because I know the cult is in the back. I don't want them getting any further. I'm also, also we are mostly in the front as well, so be on a lookout for him and make sure he's at least moving. If you don't see him, that's a good thing. If you see him, that's also a good thing. Just make sure he doesn't fall behind. If I see him and it's gonna look like something may happen, will cause a distraction of some sort. As you all gather up what you have and head back to uh, make camp with the rest of the group. Quickly putting on the beard before they head back. <laughs> and that's actually where we're going to pause it for the evening. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I'm gonna get to adopt a kobold after all. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be my boy, but that <laughs> works. Uh, you better oh, share. Uh, by like, the way, I'm going to spoil him with love. But before we end this, I do want to make a very fun observation here. Dana, is it on purpose that there's a little awu in the dragon spear? No, name? somebody put that on there. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's what. Um... Oh, yeah, that's on checks work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to step away for just a second. I will be right back. All right. <laughs> Dan, uh, Tazel says, Royal Rumble for the Kobold. I mean, <laughs> we're going to do a Rumble. I'm the monk here. I'm going to win that anyway. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, monk. Fireball. High decks. Oh, Jesus. Also, Christ. absorb elements. Shit, you're right. <laughs> you right. You two are going <laughs> to fight for his love and attention while Arthur X is just going to stand on the side with popcorn with him. <laughs> it's going to be like that one episode of SpongeBob where he, like, they put down Gary in the middle of them. And it's like, all right, come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. So it's coming towards. <laughs> God. I think more of like, remember artificial intelligence? with baby Haley Joel Osment. Okay, there we go. Sorry, there was a cat fight. I had to break it up. Uh oh. Emma. Just a little hissing fit, so. Everybody's good. Yay. Hooray. But hey, you made it. <laughs> well, Yay. kind of. We made it through the session, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Thank more intrigue. Yeah, thank God. <sighs> well, well, well. Hope everybody enjoyed themselves. 
Yes. yes sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did. Of course. I definitely did. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack's just like, huh, I met a stupid kobold lol. You're just like, intrigue. No, no, no. You I, I completely thought that that kobold was someone else. And that's why I like, well, it, I'm going to blame it mostly on me, but it also is low intelligence on Eldrath's part. Uh, he thought it was someone from his group. So that's why oh. he straight up showed that symbol. But then when he, yeah, when that happened, I was like, whoops. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that hey, right. We like the same band. No, that. That's, that's no pain. god, I hate alt rock. <laughs> Fuck. That's that's, that's, met, that's Metallica. I'm a, I'm a I'm rap fan. Link, I like Linkin Park, not Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Dragon cults are just metal bands. Let's be real. <laughs> Good observation. <laughs> well, yeah, another person who doesn't mind a big spider just saying hi. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I was so afraid that as soon as he saw you, he was going to run the fuck away. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was about to cave your skull in. <laughs> no. no way. God damn it. How dare you? <laughs> but it all worked out. It worked out, so no need to be mean. I just had to, I just had to dance. I opened up Twitch to see who I wanted to raid, and uh, they have a uh, music festival or something going on. And I looked up, and I was at first like, who the hell? And then I realized it was Charlie Tuna, which I was like, oh, that's one of my favorite rappers. <laughs> Charlie Tuna? Charlie Tuna. From uh, uh, Jurassic 5. I don't know who that is. Does that make them I'm showing my age. I'm showing my age. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you old as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Duff. Rude. Oh wait, I thought that was Duff who said that. I'm like, I thought that was what? Duff who said that. I'm like, Duff, you can't say shit. <laughs> I mean, I also just wouldn't say something like that. That's mean. Yeah, true. Yeah, we're mean people. Well, that just means that it's just giving Dana some options to do stuff to Eldra for saying such a thing. Dana knows. I'm I mean, to be fair, Eldra puts himself in enough situations on his own. He doesn't Correct. need Dana's help. Yeah. So does Arthorax. <laughs> Thank God for dice rolls tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Dana. We're, I mean, I'm pretty much catching up on age here too. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Nah, you're good. I was just, I was more. I, I, I do sprout a few gray hairs every now and then when you uh, have Eldrath do some things, but that's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. You're, you're like a good whiskey. Good with age, huh? Marge? <coughs> I was like a Miss Piggy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I gotta get going, all. I, I'll see yeah. you later. Good game. Oh, good game. Good. Yes, good game, everybody. I'll see you later, Dirk. I got a boyfriend to go talk to. Bye. Oh, boy. Bye. You have a what? All right, sorry about that chat. Um, I'm just needing to leave now. I got dinner, kind of, you know, gotta get heading to. So yeah, um, before I head on out, my windows and all that are a bit disoriented for the moment. But yeah, let me go to, uh, where the heck is it? Not this, not this, this. <laughs> My patrons, the people that help support me with my creative endeavors, such as my visual novel Ocean Avenue and my other stuff like on my channel and whatnot, affording things like my mic, my earbuds and all that. And just, yeah, helping me do more creative stuff, even my abridged videos. So I want to thank my patrons, start out with my fellow dorks, North Grizz, Andrew Corona, Taipei Roth, Mogram Wolfram, Andrew Buenaventura, Kuma Richards, Ryan Atkins, Crunchy Balls, Tagrin, Neil, Kiyomater, Spick, Spaton 98, Johnny, and Dink Dark. Now I want to give a very, mm, very, very, very special thanks to my exclusive dorks Fire Knight 2008, Kale Tiger, and Taylor. 
There are many perks that come with being the dork, which are, include early access to Ocean Avenue, um, various exclusive posts and sketches there for the game. Um, also, you can get like various polls and postings and whatnot that are patron exclusive, like maybe what I would do next for a series or which episode or vision novel I should do next, etc., etc. So, yeah. That is all I have for today. Sorry for anybody who joined this late, but I gotta get going for dinner. So thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, take care, folks.